Hello and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name's David Turner and I'm here with Matt Murray. I'm Vengeance. <laughs> James Farley. Hello. And uh, he's back. It's Sean Bell. Hello. I love having guests on, right? I genuinely love having guests on. But I also love when we're all back together again. Yeah. yeah nice to get that. As you get that feeling as well, you can't beat it, can you? Yeah, I mean, nice you can't beat back. having a really good guest on, but you can't beat us all being back together <laughs> again. Feels nice. But if you had to choose, but if you had to it? choose, if I had to choose, what are you talking between you and I now? Actually, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be back, Sean. Nice having a week off. It is. It was. Um, it was. I mean, yeah. Always like always nice to have a bit of time off as much as I enjoy doing the show. But you know, there's always like there's always a bit of bit of FOMO if you miss a if you miss a week. It's nuts, um, isn't it? Yeah, it's nuts. We and... don't really talk about it enough, but it is complete. Like the it's such a head fuck not to do the show because yep. you're like, oh my god, I got I got time. I don't have to worry about what I'm playing for a week. This is brilliant. And then like the the closer it gets to recording day. You're like, oh my god, I need to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, bad, I think it's bad, isn't it? It is, um, and I think it's nice to have that experience of just hearing the show as everyone else does every so often. I think that's quite a, quite a valuable experience. Oh yes, um, but yeah. but no, I I mean this week I oh, I properly fucked up not recording with Inel, didn't I? What a good What's laugh that? he was! He was fucking yeah, brilliant. He was, he was amazing. Energy, yeah. energy. I was just on the listening man. to it. So I can't believe I had the opportunity to be on this call and. <laughs> Fucked yeah. It. Um, uh, yeah. No, it was, it was really, uh, it was really great having him on. Mm. Um, hopefully, we can get him on again at some point in the future. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was a good one. It was. Um, before we get to feedback, though, let's uh, let's run through the Patreon producers this month, and we've got uh, a fair few new people to the full Nels crew. Uh, so the full list is Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chap, Simon Nelson, Jack Oven, Moomin Biscuit, Trans Rights are Human Rights, Dave Ernsberger, Colin Brown, Gazman, Happy Birthday Sam and Neil, <laughs> Gabsy Wabsy, Rocketman76, Rex Reese, Happy New Year Sam Love from Neil, <laughs> Grey Dragon Claw, Fred Fenge, I should say Sensible Steve Garrett was new last week. Um, and Ooh. we didn't point that out. So I'm pointing that now out now, along with the other new Full Nels members. L- oh, Lloyd Lloyd D B. Lloyd DB93. Lloyd DB93, yeah. Lloyd DB93, yeah. yeah. DB yep. Uh, smooth <laughs> Monkey, I'm going to struggle with that one. And uh, Farley's Sexy Fan. Um, they're, Just they're the one. Full Nels crew. Just, Just the one. one. Okay. You know who that is. We all know who that is. Is, is it that me? Our, Do we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Sean. Yeah, it's yeah. Sean. Oh, okay, yeah. thanks, Sean. No worries, mate. <laughs> uh, just and just anything to get your attention, really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I can understand. <laughs> right, right. right. Lloydy B ninety three. Yeah, that that's not that hard, Dave. Why is that? Why is that trip? Because up? I'm currently uh, trying to give up nicotine. Sean, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So, at the yeah. Moment, Everyone listening at home, Dave's got massive withdrawal symptoms as we record this. So <laughs> I can't wait to see. Really this. Looking forward so to winding wet. him up later. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. James, you'll regret it. Okay, so uh, you James, can... do you James, do you still smoke? No. Okay. I do not. And, that, and how how was quitting for you? Is it? It's not difficult. Sorry, Dave. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Fucking yeah, hell! Hold on. You only used to like, like a couple of fags when you were out. Exactly. On, yeah. On the, so it's, having a beer. Exactly. Yeah. So whereas it's not, I've been it's not I've thing. been inhaling vapor yeah. filled <laughs> with high levels of nicotine for about seven years straight now, and. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is a little bit different. See, I I've think. always been one of those like I, you know, I can pick them up now and again and put them down. Person, I, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't do it all the time. Ooh, fair enough. Uh, right. Well, you could support us by going to patreoncom forward slash tcgs. The bonus show for this month is already out now, where we reflect on uh, the partners episode and uh, talk about a few other things, um, including uh, well, I, I'll, I'll go. I can't even remember. <laughs> if I'm Sean, I can't remember. I stumbled. There. I mean, there was there was um, inevitably there was some COVID chat. Everyone loves that. There was some COVID chat. Um, there was some COVID chat. It's a stuff theme, stuff about it? managing your mental health while looking at social media, especially at the moment. That was you know. Yep. Good. Yep. Good you stuff. All, all all that crazy more, very... hilarious shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> various different tiers. Go to patreon.com forward slash tcgs. Now, um, we mentioned it last week that tickets have gone on sale for our TCGS Con North 
uh, in what was it, July second, in That's Sheffield. <laughs> Matt, how, uh, what's going on? We Give are us an update. Um, well, amazingly, we're down to single digits left of tickets. So if you're listening to That's this, right. I mean, I'll be honest. By the time I listen to this, they may be gone. But they may if you're listening, to this, you haven't got one, you want one. Go straight over to tcgs.co slash tcgscom. There's some information there about what we're doing, links to local hotels, all sorts, and, and but chiefly, there is a link to get tickets right at the top. It's yeah. been fucking you... amazing seeing how they've flown out. It's been really nice. I cannot, no, I, I, yeah. Yeah, it's been on my mind. Look, it, 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 it has been amazing. We, we've been getting updates from... Um, the the laser quest company about how we've been getting on throughout friday since mm. they went live and we've been absolutely blown away by how many people are coming mm. so um I, I mean we're super pumped for it we're really looking forward to it ourselves it's going to be a fantastic weekend so if you haven't got a ticket then make sure you get it quickly because well i mean this is the problem isn't it if this goes out and we're sold out then you know, it's go get your tickets, and then they go on there. It's just gonna be disappointed, but yep. you know, hopefully there's one or two left. Get get on there. Yeah, um, as well as the tickets, we've also put out some merch. If you wanna really go the the whole hog, we've got some TCGSCon hoodies and t-shirts in men's and women's fits in various different colours. So which, that's which, all there on the website. By as the well. way. Matt has absolutely smashed it on the artwork for those. They're actually proper nice. I'm I'm gonna yep. get several myself and not just because I feel like I should. Like they're they're just actually really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna get some, but I'm not wearing it to the event because it'll fill up the uniform. <laughs> oh that. god. You say that, but how many times have you streamed lately with your TCGS gear on? It's warm. It's really warm. <laughs> but, okay, but I Okay, well, it's, I mean, get a hoodie then with TCGS Con written on it. What's yeah, the man. difference? It'll be July though, won't it? So it won't, won't need a hoodie. Be oh, yeah, get a then you oh, can, we get, can we get some vests? Yeah. Hard oh. work. <laughs> <Tempted. Right. laughs> Feedback on last week's show. Um, Sean, did you have any notes? Uh, no, just uh, basically just what I said. Like, just uh, um, like amazing what a, a joyful presence I know was. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. But yeah, no, other than that, uh, really enjoyable. Cool. Um, uh, what was what did the listeners think though, Matt? What did they think? I will say we got loads of response about Inel's uh, appearance on the show. Loads of people saying it was amazing and, and like mentioning him on Twitter and stuff, which is really cool to see. So thanks everyone who who mm. did that because it's it's good for us as well. But no, he was he was amazing. Uh, back on to more uh, on other feedback, shall we say? Garrison Savannah on the last pod, thirty seven minutes and thirty seconds. In case verification is needed, Matt said the Valve Index costs, and I quote, a few hundred quid. I'm assuming he gets a <laughs> discounted price because of his high up status in the VR industry. <laughs> I really want an index, but since I cost just under a thousand pounds, it's out of my price range. Can Matt can Matt hook me up? For one with for a few hundred quid, please. I bought Headshot Fever, a Zombieland Headshot Fever, so I feel what like he owes me one. Well, you asked you answer your own question there. I mean, they cost under a thousand pounds, so I mean, technically that is a few hundred quid. <laughs> no, 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 no. A few is like what? what how do you? How does it work for you? A few is like three. It's for me. Yeah. It's two or three. Yeah, it's like no two's yeah. a couple. No, two's a couple. Yeah, a few, a few is, is like two. three to maybe four. Four. Okay. Yeah. I'm oh, not. For me, a few hundred would be like five to six hundred. Oh. Because you're you 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 don't you treat money like monopoly, Matt. No, it's the opposite <laughs> in that case. Because I'm thinking like a few is a lot of money, and the reason I said it was Hang a few hundred quid Matt, Matt. at the time. Yeah, is it is it that you're thinking you you think of it that way? Because when you're trying to justify to Jill purchases, <laughs> yeah. you're yeah. saying it's, only, yeah. few, it's only, only a few hundred, hundred quid. quid. Yeah. I may have changed my <laughs> language for everything just in case. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like just three hundred quid. Am I a thousand? Uh, no, I mean, I, I, honestly, at the time, I forgot how much it was. And if it had like, gone down in price recently, that's why I just said a few hundred quid. I was going to say, oh, it's about a, a grand or 1,500, but I just couldn't remember. So I said a few hundred. To, and I think, actually, I say myself, no one noticed. And I technically, well, I, I, true. Technically, one person has noticed. Technically, I'm true, because it's not a thousand pounds. It's under a thousand pounds. Therefore, it is a, it is a few hundred pounds. No, mm. it's not. We've just established that no one considers a few hundred to be 900 pounds, Matt. <laughs> That's a, a lot of. That's it, I would say it's a few hundred, but, but okay. it doesn't matter. It's, yes, no a thousand pounds. Um, and no, Garrison. <laughs> uh, okay. Johnny, nice soup. Check it. Dave's comment about not wanting to force older video games on his kids really resonated with me. I'm massively paranoid about this in all entertainment, as there's a few things worse than some crusty old guy telling you how much better things used to be. That said, <laughs> yeah. my youngest completed Ocarina of Time over lockdown and after putting 500 odd hours into Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild he was playing a... F oh, how so no. <clears throat> yeah. That said, my youngest completed Ocarina of Time over lockdown after putting 500 odd hours into Breath of the Wild. Full stop. 
He was playing the 3DS version, which is a bit more accessible, but aside from a couple of sticking points, he had a really good time. I guess what I'm saying is that introducing the youth to old classics can work out if the old classic is generally considered to be one of the greatest games of all time. I wouldn't risk it on the sequel to Viva Piñata. Keep making lots of good noises. Lots of love from Jolly. Thanks, Jolly. Um, But I'm more interested to talk about something else rather than what you've put there. Matt, did you realise at one point during reading that out, you actually announced the full stop? And yeah, because I think I, he meant to. Because I, I previously had to redo a sentence because I didn't realise there was one. Yeah, I, I assumed it was a, a stylistic flourish yes. rather than just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rather than just Matt's brain announcing everything he's thinking. Yeah, I had to redo that one because um, well, you've, you've, I mean, yeah, this... but I thought wait, wait, if you're going to cut out the the. the... It just sounded a bit odd. <laughs> said, oh, God, what was it? Breath of the Wild, full stop. <laughs> Can you read all the emails like that? <laughs> all the read out the grammar, because I'd love that. <laughs> I might do. It might make things easier to understand. Check it, semicolon. <laughs> David's apostrophe S. That was like, about <laughs> do when Jeremy Corbyn did that on his first speech. Did he? Oh, no. Yeah, it was really funny. He was like, he, he started doing his, I think it was his like acceptance speech, whatever, for becoming leader. And then at one yeah. point he went, strong message here. And then... And then <laughs> <laughs> they continued on. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's Brilliant. like my favourite kinds of footballer messages where it starts off saying, say something like, great charity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Can you tweet something like... <laughs> yeah, tweet yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, uh, sorry, but yeah, no, yeah. I think you're absolutely right. I, 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 I really do try and avoid being the dad that's like hey if you like this kids watch i think this. it's <laughs> i think shit. it's okay to do that as long as they're free to dislike it or just not be interested i think it's i think it's if you do that and then get really annoyed that they don't like <laughs> yeah, it that's the problem yeah. i think it's fine to just sure, like yes. introduce them to things you like you are not free to dislike this <laughs> <laughs> i'll just be you like dislike just... this <laughs> Just know, Get out of my ass. Yeah, like you're free to dislike it, but just know that it will personally hurt me if you do. So <laughs> You don't want to hurt your old dad, do you? It's funny, you know, I've I've not I've not put it on my um what you've been playing because I've nothing new to say about it yet, but Isaac's decided he's not asked about Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh yeah. Hey, well I think he gets a bit freaked out by the alphas. Yeah, walking around the you know, the red eyes and always I mean they're scared, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he's like, and he, you know, and he said a couple of times that like he was worried about our Pokemon getting hurt. Um, and I think that's properly thrown him off. He's just like, whenever I've suggested putting it on, he's just like, nah. Okay, never mind. Nah, let's play Doom How instead. How old is he now? You are sorry? Four. He's four, yeah. Isaac's four. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, that shit wildly changes. I was like, going to say, well, I was, like was going to say, if he's five, then. fucking get over it. But <laughs> <laughs> man up. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 that that shit wildly changes like every. Yeah. Three or four months, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Like, well, this is it. Like, be... might be, yeah, a couple of weeks. You might just be like, you've forgotten you ever thought that. You know, it's weird. Yeah. In two weeks' time, we were like, "Daddy, show me videos of Pokemon getting killed on YouTube." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know, he got. Um, sorry, this is a real tangent now. He got really annoyed the other day because uh, he's got like he's got a profile on the Switch, but at the moment just has a picture of Mario. And I was like, "Oh, mate, we'll make you, we'll make you like your own character. Like, you know, we'll make him a, a me." Um, because I thought that'd just be a fun thing for us to do together and just yeah, like ready you know, for get... Mario Kart. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was it was absolutely fine. Uh, hair, eyes, eyebrows, it's like you know the shape of his face and everything. He was loving it. Thought it was really funny until we got to the nose. And <laughs> you know how all the the noses on me's have the little just like the black outline either down yeah, like, around one side. They're a bit yeah, weird. They're, they're, they're he, really weird. He yeah. was just absolutely hung up on the fact that his nose does not have a black outline around it. And and that he would look <laughs> stupid if he did. I mean, um, I kind of agree. The, I mean, the noses wrong. on the Mies are terrible. He's, yeah. Especially the ones that's just like a fucking arrow. Yeah. And you're like, well, what must... <laughs> that doesn't look like that. Look yeah. like... Uh, so yeah, and he just refused to participate any further. And was just, just like, no, I'd look stupid if I had a black line around my nose. <laughs> And I, and I tried to say like no like look you know mummy and daddy both have one and they and they have black and he's like no you don't he's like pointing at my face going, you don't have a black up it's like no not in real life I just mean on the street and he's yeah just you know was, what you got to do was not having it yeah go on. get a sharpie just creep into on. his bedroom while he's sleeping yeah, yeah, yeah. draw a line yeah, yeah. yeah there you go <laughs> outline of, of it See? on his nose yeah. and then just like look in the mirror boy yeah. See? it's sad isn't it now. but when they start getting conscious of how they look it's like you ain't little 
Like, yeah, so like, who fucking cares, man? Just gone Don't worry about scene. it. Yeah, we're yeah. going through that yeah. big time at the moment. Rachel's really? 12, and it's, yeah, it's, oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. it's yeah. a big thing. I'm not looking forward to that. I thought you were going to say Rachel's 12, and she keeps taking the piss out of my face. She's calling me fat. Really, so much about my face. She does do that. But... She was the meanest thing she said about you. Yeah, she's called me fat. I'm pretty certain she's done that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's come up to me. Well, no, Harry's done that to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, kids kids are mean. Isaac's, <laughs> oh, no. Isaac's taken the piss out of me for not having any hair quite a few times now. <laughs> oh, I get that almost say? daily. Have I not ever told you about this? It was one time. I was... Isaac takes the piss out of you for not having hair, Matt. Yeah, I get phone calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was uh, one time. I was uh, Isaac was in the bath, um, and I can't remember what I did, but I like bent forwards and he saw the top of my head and he just went, "Daddy, where is it?" I went, what? He goes, "Your hair." <laughs> Well, at least, like he's, at really least he's not saying really to you like, distressed. "Hey, fatty, you're fat." You know, it's like you know, <laughs> he does. <laughs> is that what you fat? Um, no, no, no. She's not done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, well, if, you're li- even, if you're listening, so Rachel, no one you know, is getting that. Yeah. Yeah. If you're listening, there's some ideas, Rachel. You know, just <laughs> throw, throwing that out there. Um, and yeah, and Je- oh, oh, what was it? Yeah, we were like driving out of a car park the other day, and there was a guy wearing a, like a bald man wearing a yellow hoodie. And he just went, Daddy, it's you. And I said, why? <laughs> he said, because he's got a yellow jumper and no hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lad. That's it's what you time for him. Yeah. Sean, you've, you've surely already said, like, this will happen to you when you hit 30 or whatever. I haven't, actually. Well, I don't know. I, did, I don't know genetically how oh, it's going to go. You can't do that. Not a, to a four-year-old. Not yeah. to a four-year-old. I mean, I've said, four, four, I've said that to Asher before. I think, he he's, me. I think he's got... Hair from like his mum's side. I don't think he's uh, he's not that's, followed. That's in my what Ash is hoping, but it's not <laughs> true. <It's... laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's. Uh, is that it for the feedback? Yes. If you want to leave us feedback, go to tcgs.co slash dear tcgs. Okay then. Straight onto the news, James Farley. Okay. Um. So following on from last week, uh, with the whole Russian invasion, which is still ongoing at the moment, um, a, quite a lot of companies are now pulling out of deal of dealing with Russia. And I mean, as usual, uh, GamesIndustry.biz has got like a really comprehensive like list of um, you know all the uh, ongoing situation with that. Mm-hmm. I mean, so far we've had like Microsoft, Activision, EA, Epic, uh, CG Projects, and Bloober Team have all just like cut off sales from Russia and Nintendo has also stopped all their eShop payments in the Russian store and PlayStation hasn't launched GT7 in Russia it seems either like the, the planned launch hasn't hasn't gone ahead but um I mean I guess you know as with last week if you'd like to help then have a look at the link in the show notes again you're going to put that in again there yeah Matt yep cool absolutely cool. Yeah. yeah make sure you do make make sure you go out and read that stuff and help where you can even if it's just something little or whatever you know mm-hmm. yeah. yeah we also tweeted out the link um attached to last week's show tweet and i'll do the same this week mm-hmm. cool <laughs> okay um also epic games have acquired Bandcamp um as what they're calling part of their creator marketplace ecosystem vision oh god this was such why, a why, weird why one call it this that? was a very weird Stop. one wasn't it yeah, stop calling it. Why is it weird, one? What do you reckon? What, what's? Well, I mean, because obviously Bandcamp is just in. It's indie as hell. It's helped help loads of you know bands put out albums and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And it's just Epic and Bandcamp. It's not two I would ever expect to go together. And also, not just the fact it's like being historically indie. Although they've obviously dealt with like big money, helping out lots of um, people release albums. It's just you know, it's music. It's a mu- It's like a music label, music releasing like yeah, service, yeah. isn't it? So for that and Epic, I'm like, what? Where's this going? Yeah, but then Epic is like, all right, it's Epic Games or whatever, but they haven't really got established, you know, their store's pretty good or, what, you know, the game or whatever, but, I, you know, I didn't see them just limiting themselves to games, really. This didn't surprise me massively, only that I suppose it is a bit weird that Bandcamp and Epic Games are together, but when you think about it logically, you could see Epic trying to spread out a little bit rather than just keeping on the gaming market, right? Yeah, I think I think it's like... Matt says though it's like the the indie cred for want of a much better term around Bandcamp. I did I, they didn't strike me as the sort of company that were looking to get bought, and certainly not by someone like Epic. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, we've not really like heard much from anyone else who's been bought by Epic in the last few years, have we? Like, I, I, yeah, I certainly haven't true. heard any stories of like, oh, we got bought by Epic and now everything's shit. Not the you know, yeah, not gonna be that yeah. black and white. But you know what I mean? I mean there's there not... was there was one game recently, wasn't there? Was it? Um... Was Fall Guys? Fall yeah, Guys. yeah, yeah, Media Tonic, Tonic yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Well, that's weird. They bought Where's, they bought the what? parent games group. Yeah. So maybe. Sorry. What's yeah. Deal, what's the deal with that coming out on Xbox and Switch? It's disappeared, isn't it? It's like it's has just it? completely not mentioned. I just yet, assumed that had happened. No. No. Summer last year it was supposed to be, and then it got moved to early 2022. But is just that nothing. Anything, not heard anything to do with? Because the source code got leaked, didn't it? But, uh, yeah, but you wouldn't you wouldn't delay your whole. And you might have to in, in order to keep it in order to keep it secure and stuff. It might I don't you I don't think? know what the the technical hurdles would be, but I imagine they're significant. Um, I don't know. But yeah, well, I called, there was a post on well a, a story on VGC on the twenty third of February, so not long ago, uh, where they were announcing the Four Guys season six mid season content, and they also said we know that news regarding Four Guys on Nintendo Switch and Xbox is highly anticipated. We're finalizing development, and though it isn't within this update, it's still coming. All right. All right. But it's a yes, yeah, a okay. fascinating kind of delay or, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's a weird one. It is a weird one. You'd expect them to want to get out on as many uh, many different consoles as possible at the same time. But, <clears> yes, mm, but it also you know, I guess whatever. now they've been acquired, they don't have to do everything they can to get out as soon as possible to get more revenue through the door. So <laughs> yeah, maybe that true. is why. Hang on, we've mm. been bought. Maybe we can take a bit more time over it, a bit more love and care on it. And yeah, possibly. That's maybe true. That's but I mean, Epic are all about the multi platform, aren't they? And like not. You know, big on everything. Basically, they seem to be quite. Well, yeah, this idea. is coming to everything. But maybe mm. they, they, maybe they, it, maybe they're planning for something big to happen when they launch on other systems, rather than, um, you know, because if they just say, "Oh, it's available now on Xbox," that's not like if it, if it uh, coincides with like a massive update or whatever, then that might be what they're going hey, for. Mm, Make it, it more, more of a bang. We, launch. So what what's happened recently is you know how they've got all like those PlayStation characters and stuff have appeared in Fall Guys now. Yeah. So they're probably now doing the same for Xbox, but because they keep acquiring companies and they've got, got some money, they've got, <laughs> they got never ending set of characters. Now, oh, to that's just set of back six months. <laughs> yeah. they, now we've got to add Soap McTavish for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to we don't have to include all of Xbox's characters. Yes, yes, we, do. We, don't. we need Master Chief, <laughs> we need the, the car, we need the <laughs> Um, I mean, lines. in terms of, I mean, obviously, like Dave, what's Rocket League been like since getting bought by Epic? Because that was, I mean, that was That's a few weird, years man. back now, wasn't it? Yeah, the game, the games, the games remains excellent. Yeah. Um, they've certainly improved the way that the loot boxes at work and everything. Yeah. Um, they're a little bit tighter with the, uh, with the the battle pass stuff. That's not as free flowing and as jam packed with stuff as it was before Epic uh, got involved. Um, and it, oddly, there's like a, like they've improved quite a lot actually. I would say that the overall experience has improved since Epic took over. Mm-hmm. So I think that's a good example of how they've improved the game. Um, cool. But yeah, no, I was playing it last night, and it's still the best game ever made, Sean. Cool. Ever made. Do you know what? And they also brought out that Rocket League sideswipe that doesn't get enough attention. That's, that is, you know, uh, I, that's, yeah, I've, I've not played enough to talk about it, but I have played a bit, and it's very good isn't it it's, it's fucking um, it's so good yeah it's so good yeah it really really is it, I, like i cannot believe they've got the feeling of rocket league into a side scrolling game like that mm. it's mad i need to try Every it on my frustration and all that sort of stuff because i got a new phone the other week and oh yeah and it's only a the samsung yeah samsung galaxy s20 fe so it's like the budget version of last year's lot um and it's but it's it's the first device I've owned that has a 120 hertz screen, and all I've seen so far that really takes makes use of it is Pokemon Go, which is not really, really uh, <laughs> you know, yes, you know, is it noticeably different then on a? I mean, that it screen? looks nicer, but it doesn't. I mean, I, I suppose it feels a bit more responsive when you're chucking balls. Um, but yeah, oh, I, sh- yeah. I should play some actual games on it, really, um, and that would be a okay. good one. Yes, it would be a good one. Would. Um, right. Do you, know, do you know what would be like? Sorry, just quickly. What? Because you know, like we talked about the Epic Store and how basically everyone loads it up just to get free games or discounted ones or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like I don't know. It, it just doesn't have like a fraction of the the functionality that Steam does, right? But wouldn't it be nice if your Bandcamp purchases sort of worked within the Epic Store as well? Like, because I always, you know, like Steam. Like some Steam games, you can buy like you can buy soundtracks on Steam, and yeah. Yeah. I've never been one hundred percent clear on how that works. Like, oh, don't get me started. 
Don't get me started. Go on. What about when you get um, uh, the soundtrack on like PlayStation or whatever? A good point. It's like <laughs> you you own the digital soundtrack, so right? What can How I? How do I even access yeah. this fucking thing? Can I go like, on, <laughs> download the MP3s from PlayStation.com? <laughs> Um, so yeah so I've always just been like well what what happened I mean I I could look this up obviously but I've just been like well I'm assuming if I buy a soundtrack from Steam it's going to be locked to Steam somehow and that's not really I don't know whereas I feel like something like this tying in with Bandcamp would actually be quite good yeah yeah actually like all of your like yeah Yeah, being able to if you're playing a you know playing an Epic game or you know sorry a game you've bought on the Epic store and just be able to pull up the overlay and it's like oh yeah here's your entire Bandcamp library that'd be quite smart yeah, but there would, there, there's, there, it would be nice if there was sort of like a, a a formal place that everyone could go to for sort of video game soundtrack music, especially ones that you unlock through um, digital purchases or whatever. But yeah. maybe maybe that's what they're going for. But then I think maybe we're overthinking it, and actually they just want to get into a different sector. Yeah, I think that's probably. Yeah, I mean, where if anyone bought, you just put it into your like, iTunes or whatever your local media player is, and anything yeah. else is on. Yeah, but who does that them. anymore? That's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. Well, so want to <coughs> buy actual downloaded albums rather than just listen to it on Spotify. Because uh, I, I, so. I wonder if this old is because of, of <laughs> yeah, obviously oldies. you know like the the concerts in Fortnite and stuff. Like they're not like, they're not going to get that sort of you know not going to get acts of that size on on Bandcamp as far as I'm aware. But you do wonder if this is them just sort of going, let's see if we can manage a music shop and then see where that can grow from there. And then he, like, it's like the idea that one day, you know, like your Fortnite concerts will just be epic signed musical artists. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, I, you know. Yeah. Or what if it's a good way of um, getting, like, music for their games? Yeah, or that. Because I, I was thinking that the other day, is that I was playing, what game was I playing? I can't remember. I think, I, well, let's let's choose Rocket League, for example. Mm-hmm. The vast majority of that, are, uh, the music in that, are people that work for the developers. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not licensed music or whatever, mm-hmm. yet so much of their music is, like, is well known now. Yeah. Because it's all over Rocket League. Like, there's a very specific audience, but the, <laughs> everyone knows who Michael Altner, Michael Altner is now, you know what I mean? Because mm. like, there's music's plastered all over that game. Mm. So maybe there's a link in for that. No, we're overthinking it. We're overthinking it. They also bought Harmonix. So what the like, fuck are we doing? Last year or the year before. So God, they yeah. obviously have loads of experiencing like licensing and, mm. and doing all sorts of music related stuff. So maybe it's something to do with that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Let's move on. Okay, um, Halo Infinite Co-op isn't going to launch in May uh, as planned. What? Um, 343 wow. have said that they need more time uh, to work on the co-op side. Uh, they said, this, they said uh, we will not be able to ship campaign network co-op on May the 3rd um, at the start of Season 2, but we are still aiming to deliver campaign network co-op uh, later in Season 2, and we will share a release date for that and for split-screen co-op as soon as we can. Um, but then, because they've also said that they, they're, still, they're trying to adhere to what they call Priority Zero. And what What's this, that? what okay, so what this is is it's it's they said this undergirds everything we do, namely team health, with an emphasis on getting ourselves into a sustainable development rhythm that we can develop great experiences to all of you while keeping a healthy work life balance. And yeah. that's okay. that's what the delay is about, basically. Is that well, I'm not saying I'm not saying that's what this what's going on here, but we've heard that a million times before, and it's come out that that's not been the case. So. Um... Whenever I hear a company say that, I always take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt. You know what I mean? Um, mm. But I think I'm it's not... good to hear. I mean, I'm, again, I think people will be happy with, with it not coming out if it means people not, you know. Yeah, but again, could... as I said, Matt, like we've heard that from companies before, and it hasn't been the case. So to blindly go, oh, it's great that they're doing that, is probably not the right thing to do based on mm. historical. There's event. also the multiplayer lead for um, Halo Infinite has also quit as well this week. Really? Yeah. There you go. Hmm. I don't know if there's any <laughs> I, connection I, like, there, but you know. Yeah. I will. I will say this. You know, I really enjoyed Halo Infinite. I can't wait for them to just like cram a bunch of new content in for the multiplayer, and I'll definitely go back to it. Um, but I, you know, beforehand I was thinking, oh, I can't wait to go through this with co-op. But thinking back on that campaign now, I kind of think if I did that in co-op, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I've not got that excitement for it. Yeah. In, co-op i guess because once you unlock that that final vehicle or whatever mm. it becomes like way too easy anyway so what are we going to do like me and james are going to jump on and just be in 
in it. What are Unless... they called? The scorpion or whatever it is. No, it was the wasp. Scorpion. Wasn't it? The the yeah, wasp. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was really good. But I mean, it may be. I mean, what if they launch this, but with also some extra like content? See or whatever? that? That'd yeah, be, yeah that's that's what I be all over that. Yeah, but are they going to do that? I can't. Well, probably see them. not. No. No, no, no. But I, I I, yeah, I mean, my hope was, yeah, they, here, here's co-op, but now a co-op has more stuff in it. It's not literally just the same game you've played, but with two of you. That, that would be the hope. Ooh, I, but, I, but one thing, I'd I mean, it's, it's kind of staggering that we're still in season one of the multiplayer. I yeah, mean, that's madness. Been a while. I, mean, I, like, I get madness. it. It, but needs, it's like, needs new maps immediately, yeah, the whole, you know what I mean? What's so good about you know, Fortnite, uh, you know, kind of seasons or Rocket League seasons or any of those games? It's like it keeps you, you know, playing because you want to get to the end of the battle pass and new ones coming. And it, there's like a nice like, rhythm of new content, unlocking stuff, excited, for, you know, excited to play the current one, excited to see what's coming next. This, I mean, this season one of the multiplayer started when the game launched in November. It's still going until, what was it, M- March? No, March, May. April, May. Mm. It's. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of wild. See, this is the thing because when when the game launched, like there was a lot of good buzz about it because it was it was brilliant. Like I really enjoyed the campaign and everything, and I've I've not really touched the multiplayer very much. But I've not heard anything really much about the multiplayer, like people talking about it since. Yeah. I'm sure it's still doing really really since well. Since it launched, yeah. I've you, you, when do you hear people talking about it? Like never. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we played it for a good two, oh, yeah. Yeah, we, maybe we played, three months. We played like, loads. We it. Um, it's just that now obviously lots of other games coming out and also just the fact that it hasn't moved on there's been no yeah, new map yeah. there's, been, the biggest there's a couple us. of new modes or like see, kind of mini seasonal kind of events I guess you'll call them but yeah I guess it was that plus they were still trying to fix or optimise how the battle pass worked you mm-hmm. know lots of people were trying to earn stuff it took ages to earn stuff and the stuff you earned was rubbish or wasn't worth it <laughs> when it had events it's like am I going to play the same two maps to do this and so there was lots of kind of smaller things that they need to fix and tweak to make it more compelling and a bit more interesting but then since then I'm, I mean I haven't played it for a while Dave and I haven't played it for ages so they may have fixed those things but fundamentally people are still waiting for new content new maps and a new season and that yeah, feels like sure. it's taken its sweet time Yes. But okay. also, you like no forge. I mean, I never really played. I never played forge in the previous ones, but no forge, no co-op. Forge could be really still... interesting. So, so is forge? Forge is coming in May, I assume, is it? It is. I think so. Yeah. I've okay. Had forge. I, I think it's still coming ahead of um. What's it called? The of uh, the co-op uh, mode. Okay. But so uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, next story is that Nintendo has launched a missions and reward system uh, for Switch Online users. I don't know if you, oh, do, yeah. any of you have noticed this, but I was super disappointed by this. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, before you said anything, I was going to go, is it shit, James? Because I'm expecting it to be shit. Yeah, I mean, but this is what's annoying, right? So what it is, is they've added more like customization to player icons, like on the Switch. So, you know, you can like change it to with different backgrounds and all that sort of stuff. And you can buy new icons, uh, you know, using platinum points. So it doesn't cost money. It's just, you know, so... The way that you do it is that you earn the points through doing missions, and the missions are stuff like, you know, start a, a NES game during the week at some point, or, you know, like, play Animal Crossing or whatever, and then they give you some points or whatever. But you know how it is, like... We... <laughs> Matt's having a oh, no, this is, this is the one <laughs> yeah. over again. It is uh, basically that. that, but worse. Yeah. And, but then it's also, like, I mean, those platinum points, I mean, I've got, like, about a million of those, you know, because they've yep. been around for, like, ages, so you're never going to have to do any of this stuff. But then, you see, what I, the reason I was disappointed by this is when I saw, like, they said, oh, you know, there's, like, new, like, backgrounds and stuff, I thought, finally, is there going to be, like, you can change the background on the Switch, you know, from either just being white or whatever, there's going <laughs> to yeah. be new ones. It's like, no, of course not. No, it's just the icon. You know, like on on your thing that you can't even see anyway because it's tiny. Yeah. It's like I don't know. I was a bit disappointed. Those platinum point things in the on the Nintendo were doing are so weird. Yeah, well, it's, it's completely like, pointless. You go on there and it's like, ah, oh, there's a desktop wallpaper. So <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? A JPEG in, That's in, the in low resolution. Well. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever yeah. spent one. And like, but the gold points—they're the ones you earn from buying the get buying the physical versions yeah. of the games. And yeah. um, but they're the ones that expire, don't they? No, yeah, they, they do. Expire. They do. Like, yeah, but like, or is it, it the platinum ones that expire? It's, no, the gold ones do, but it like takes it's forever. about a year, isn't it? Yeah, it's like okay. it's, it's right, a long okay. time. Yeah, it's like, it's like what was it? I remember, I remember once logging on and saying, "What can I get? Let me look at the catalog." see what I can get for my points and it said something like such and such ringtone mm-hmm. and I went no one what no one uses 
When was the last time you downloaded a ringtone? Downloaded it straight into <laughs> Nokia 3210. Yeah, it was for a 3210 as well, yeah. It's like straight uh, You get new covers so, as well on the back. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Two Marios. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, haven't, I, I haven't seen this, um, but is this just on like, the main UI? or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... It's, it's completely pointless. And it's just a bit disappointing because, as I said, I still think the Switch, it needs themes as well. Like, why can't you do that? Like, yeah. there's only two themes and it's mm-hmm. like, this just seems a bit mean, but, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I mean, James. I um, oh no, no. Sorry, I was going to ruin something. You go ahead. Why have you have you got some inside information, man? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was looking at your next news story. I was excited to get onto it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, because I mean, obviously, there's also. I mean, we're staying with Nintendo here because they've there's been a huge like update to the Switch Online app. Like, I mean, that not my words. That's Eurogamer's words. Like, <laughs> yeah. they said, this is. <laughs> This has been a huge update. So Jeez. version two has just come out for iOS and Android. And About fucking time. When did it launch? Today. Yeah, it came out today. No, no, no. When did the app originally oh, launch? I don't know. It's like years Wait, ago, wasn't no, it? Was I don't it know. I it years ago. Was it with Splatoon 2? It was when come out, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, yeah, Splatoon 2, yeah. So it's five years ago. It must be. Oh, fuck it, hell. Wow. It's taken five years to get it's to good. perfection. Well, I mean, how do you improve on perfection, Dave? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Go on. I'll tell you about that, Sean, because okay. what's happened is that they've made changes to the app's overall design. All right. And oh, they've shit. Also, they've also added the ability to see which of your friends are online. Shit, you know. At any one time. <laughs> but, but again, that's like, it. I mean, all right, the, you know, the UI and stuff was never great but the main problem was that it was a miserable <laughs> voice chat experience but also like the, it doesn't do anything the, <laughs> it doesn't need do, a ui there was nothing it doesn't do anything there was no experience um, needed yeah it was just like the like you forget how much like you know i mean we all take the piss out of skype these days but even skype does a lot to make calls sound a bit better in terms of you know noise suppression and stuff and you realise that when you use them with the nintendo online you know the switch online app because it, it just <laughs> yeah. sounds fucking yeah. horrific <laughs> like you hear like got... every bit of background noise from everyone's microphone and stuff it's just horrible <laughs> so like you open up the app now and it's got like along the top it's got like friends online i mean unsurprisingly i've got none online and then three game specific services which remain animal crossing smash brothers and splatoon 2 <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wild, such isn't a it? weird, uh, it's such a weird company. Yeah, it is. I'll never wrap my head around this. It's bizarre. <laughs> I don't know why Here's it a exists. question: Will they make a big effort to improve this stuff on the next console? No, no. I don't. They don't care. It, it's it's of no. Well, this is it because even if especially now, even in if the last they... five years, Discord's done. You've got even bigger. Like yeah. even at a the time, they're like, do we? Even less reason now. They're like, Discord will take take care of that. Well, this is it. Yeah, like even if they acknowledge that the app was shit, it's just like they they, they don't care. So then why it's not just, just drop it completely? Well, just stop supporting it. Like no, just stop the. Uh, okay, we don't do voice chat. We yeah. don't do. We don't do. Uh, you, you can play online, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But it is very sort of limited. Yeah. Why? Why do they sort of dip their toe in? But but like they dip their toe in with like and it's shit. <laughs> well, that that's, like, that's been the frustrating thing always though, isn't it? Because it's actually got worse with each console. <laughs> like they they've actually. <laughs> what do you stri- mean? Well, because like what was it called the like the Wii U had like voice chat and stuff for games. Yeah. yeah. Like you could do that in certain games, mm-hmm. and this you can't. Like you have to use this. Stupid well, this app. is yeah, and like you know, like a like so Monster Hunter <laughs> Three Ultimate on the Wii U. I played a lot of multiplayer because there was voice chat in it. And yet, you know, Monster Hunter Rise, hands down a better game in every possible way, but didn't have voice chat. Mm. And, and the 3DS t- had voice chat with yeah. like with Metroid. Like you could play Metroid, like you know, Metroid Hunters with voice chat. It's just I yeah. don't know. And it's just I know it doesn't sound like a big deal like that. You know, not having you know the online infrastructure that you, you get with a PlayStation or an Xbox, but it is surprising how much it just prevents you from thinking. Yeah, fuck it, I'll organize a game tonight or whatever and i don't know it just it just never happened for me with, with rise well you're never going to get that thing of like oh my friend's online let's let's start a party yeah yeah and like you know play something it's just <laughs> it's never... weird when it says oh such and such is online playing this and i just sort of shrug yeah, like, when I'm no, using my so thanks for the <laughs> news <laughs> I <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> still playing now that, you can it? james yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I like right. the fact that the app now allows you to go in and copy and paste your Switch friend code. That is oh, actually yes, That is actually huge. When was the last time you gave your Switch friend code to someone? I mean, never, but never, some people might. Because you exactly. couldn't copy and paste it, Dave. Now it's no, is that <laughs> the reason, changed. Yeah. Not the fact that there's fucking no point. <laughs> oh, we're friends on Switch now. Cool, what can we do? I still, Nothing. yeah, it amazes. Like, I, I don't know about you guys. I still <laughs> occasionally get friend requests from people who clearly mean well, but I'm just like, guys, what is the point? Why are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. It might all change when uh, Switch Sports comes out. Do you know what yep. I mean? Maybe. That's a good point, actually. Uh, That's one of my ad people. Yeah, do, you reckon they, do you reckon they're going to add this to the app? They're not, are they? There's not going to no, be no, any no. voice chat, I, I, is there? No, 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 no. I don't think there's going to be voice chat for it, but I think certainly in terms of that game, I would like leaderboards, right? Mm. Although, what does that work with? That's not going to work with the sword fighting. That's not going to work with... It'd just be the bowling, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm sure there's high schools the in the bowling. football game, and I'm sure there's high schools in elements in certain. Yeah. Like maybe like, I bet it'd be high schools. Golf would be the one. Yeah. Trying to get like the lowest round of golf. Oh, God, I can't wait mates. for that. Now we're talking. Can't now wait. Now we're talking. All right. Okay. Okay. Next story is that Xbox has sold 2.3 million consoles in Japan over 20 years. And A weird story, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. of the total, the 360. <laughs> Why is this? Yeah. The 360 was the most popular um, out of all yes. of them. That sold 1.6 million uh, units. And then if you look at the others, it's like... I mean, the Series X and S has done better uh, than the Xbox One did uh, so far. So that's, that, that's something. But then also they've got, regarding... Like, these are the games. Do you want to, do you want to know the games that are the most popular in Japan? <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, Japan. Go on. Okay, have a guess what the number one is. Okay. Number one. What? Oh, hold on. How's this work? What do you mean, how does this work? I'm asking you, what is, what's talking... been the most popular... Okay, this is the most sold Xbox game in Japan. Of all what time. do you mean Xbox to... game? Like Xbox Game Studios or exclusive? Or no, game, any on, game, game on, on any the Xbox games. console. It's not um, yeah. Dragon Quest XI or something, is it? It's not, no. Okay. Is it, is it Titanfall? It is not. Is it Halo? Nope. Halo, what is the Halo, point in this? Halo, fucking, there's so Halo many didn't games even make the could... top five. <laughs> okay, well, there's so many fucking games we could choose from, James. Not, not really. Not even limited. It's, uh, okay, anyway, it's uh, Dead or Alive no, 3. Not really. Dead or Alive oh, right. 3. Dead or Alive 3, of course one. it is. Yeah, on the <laughs> of original course, Xbox. <laughs> of course it is. God, what about the other two? What then the you've got, two? like, Star Ocean 4. Uh, then Tales, never heard of it. Tales Banger. of Vesperia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Blue, oh, I've heard of that. Blue Dragon and The Last Remnant. Never heard of Blue Dragon. The Last Remnant. Yeah. Well, because Blue Dragon... Makes sense to a degree because that was the Xbox exclusive. That was a good game. Um, I quite enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, Come on, Sean. The, the music. Last Remnant. You know, I, 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 I barely remember. I, I never, I never played it myself. It's guys. One of my housemates played a fair bit of it, and I just sort of witnessed it. Um, is the music not still seared into your brain, like from the from the boss battles? No. <laughs> you said that with such anger. No, no, no because like it was insane. It was like all like that like rock guitar venom. stuff. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All that rock guitar stuff. You know, that loud you music they have on the radio. Like you know. a dad. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's that rock guitar stuff that the kids listen to. There's no to, tune Sean. to it, is there, Dave? That's the thing. <laughs> There's no, that's the problem. Are you supposed it's to have, a, have a bop to that? It's not, you can't do it. <laughs> a bop to it. <laughs> do you know what day I'm really scared and it's going to happen? It's simply red on Sean. <laughs> Yeah, Paul Robert Palmer. I'm <laughs> I'm most scared of the day when um, I say to Melody, "Are you going to that concert tonight?" Oh my god! Because when I was younger, yeah. I was like, "No, Mum, it's a gig. It's a gig." Did I ever tell you about? <laughs> I just this is, I just imagine James sitting there, and that's the neighbours. He's going, "Hey, hey, keep it down." Music. Back it, bashing his walking stick against the wall. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, James. Sorry, I'll stop right now, yeah, but that's... that's yeah, thank you. No, my, my, um, so I went to see Coldplay when I was young and before they were, before they were big. And we were, I was at a mate's house before we left and his dad came in and he's like, you know, he's like, he's he's all right. He's he's sound, but he's like, you know, big, like Santana fan and stuff. And he's like, oh, so who are you going to see tonight, boys? And he'd like, and he picked, picked up the ticket and went, Coldplay. <laughs> That's the sort of dad I want to be. That's the, yeah. That's the kind of dad I am. Oh, yeah. oh that is good. Oh, yeah. uh, were, were Coldplay any good? Sure. Yeah, man. It was really nice. 
Okay. It was the, cool. Well, what used to be called the Hop and Grape in Manchester, and it was like a really small venue. So it was one of those, like you know, obviously you sound like a concert. No, it was before they were before they went all commercial. But it was it was literally <laughs> it was like the week before Yellow came out. Um, <laughs> which I know. No, but it was it was just nice because it's like oh yeah, that's like the last <laughs> tour where like you could stand right in like you know Chris Martin was like fucking one meter away from me and you know it's nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, there's shit now, cool. obviously. It's <laughs> <laughs> like that was the last week before they were cool. That was yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was able to enjoy them one last time. Before, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, last story is that Grand Turismo Sevens. Who came off worse then, me or James? <laughs> oh, definitely me. I, I mean, I, I think James. Okay. Well, definitely me. You went to see Coldplay. James, James described the genre of music as that rock music. What was? Did you call it that rock music? All that rock guitar? guitar stuff. Yeah, rock guitar stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I quite like Coldplay. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I, think I think James come off worse. Sure, you're all right. Cool. Go on. Just checking. Yeah. Anyway, what are we talking uh, about? Trismo, can I? Am I going to get this story out? I was just what asking was what we were talking about. I wasn't trying to deal with okay. derail you. I'm sorry. Gran Turismo 7's new microtransactions are bad. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Where did you get this news story from, James? <laughs> I wrote it on my own new website, James Farley's <laughs> Thoughts. <laughs> there's a game section, so... there's a music section, there's, you know... <laughs> the new Coldplay album is bad. <laughs> It's got all that rock music stuff <laughs> on there. So I do know, Coldplay, they got better when they started using the synths and stuff, but <laughs> guitar stuff, We've not so much. We've got an episode title. We've got an episode title. Uh, <laughs> go on, what, what's this story, James? So, okay, so the microtransactions in GT Sport before, like, people could buy, like, individual cars for, like, a set amount of money. Like, that was oh, what yeah. they were like, you know. Whereas now, with GT7, they've changed it so that it's all like you have you, you buy things through in-game currency and they're selling the in-game currency um which is like a, a bit different yeah. so they worked out that like according to Eurogamer they said in Sony's state of play earlier this year this Mercedes-Benz like carried a price tag of 20 million credits which if you were going to like buy it you know buying micro, through microtransactions it would cost you about 160 quid oh yeah but then obviously okay, you can I, you I can mean, grind I've for got, it like, as well. I've got nearly 2 million credits already so this is a little All bit right. boastful. <laughs> well, that's cheaper than the real car, so what's your problem? <laughs> yeah, bargain. Um, yeah, no, I mean, uh, it's it's especially for a seventy pound game. That's yeah, it's pretty the bad. thing, right? Pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. If Sony are going to stick to this seventy pounds game thing, then probably don't fill it with microtransactions mm. as well, right? I mean, it's like their argument would be: you can still do all this. By grinding it, you know yourself. Mm. But then it's you know I don't think if people that's are going to do a miserable that. experience. Yeah. Then yeah, it's not quite. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, I mean, I, I re- I, every time I mean we'll get onto I guess in a minute. But there's a lot of advertisement for the in-game or buying the in-game currency. Really? Is that? Uh, yeah. I mean, every time you go on like a, a menu where you've earned like something, it's like, or when you earn some credit, it's like, hey, buy more here in the store. I've not seen any of that. Yeah, it, 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 on that kind of pop up where you gain extra credit, there's and I, every time I I almost accidentally press down to click on that, um, and every time I press the X to confirm, I'm like, you're talking about the, in the loot box when you cash in your ticket. Um, I think no, because I I have done that, but I haven't done it as frequently as when I've earned. St- it, it's pretty front and center. It's every time I must have earned something, or it's not really. It just says it just it's just a button that says PlayStation Store. Like you can press down and choose it if you want to. And then buy. Yeah, yeah. but the fact it's just there with every menu, like buy currency or whatever it is. Yeah, I, I, I think store. it's weird that it's weird that Sony are going down the seventy pound route plus microtransactions in there. I think is um, it weird? Yeah, this is not the least surprising thing ever. Like again, they they know people will pay the money. They might. They, and, I mean, it's, and it's and not that's not good for us as consumers. <laughs> yeah, it's but not. It's, it's not weird because this is just what pe- what they do, especially when they know people are desperate for games. But, but they this want to play is it. Games. I mean, right? Hold on. So. The, the complaints about Microsoft doing it in their games on Game Pass, and it's kind of like, oh, I see how they're trying to make extra money out of this thing. Yeah. 
but Sony are doing it in seventy pound games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, and it's, it's shocking. Yeah. I mean, also, I mean, they've done but this also with, with GT Sport as well. Obviously, where they were, you know, selling them, selling cars like you know, extra cars and stuff like that. And but it GT does... Sport was a budget release as well, though, right? Was it? I don't remember. Mm. Yeah, I think so. But either was, way, I still like, don't like seen this. It seen as like a half a game, wasn't it? <laughs> so shit, I can't even remember. And I think especially when you're, like you said, when you're spending 70 quid, it's like it is taking the piss, really, I think, to do this. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not great. Yeah. With Okay. Well, um, that's, uh, that's, we... that's it. But do you want a fantasy zone? <gasps> Absolutely. Always. I mean, this. I, I've got to admit, this has been provided by, by Matt. He has provided <laughs> this. So I mean, I, I will admit further, it came from a tweet we've received. <laughs> but <laughs> let's fu- listen what anyway. What the fuck is this? What do you mean? Isn't that? fantasy so-, but so it's not Farley's fantasy zone at all? Well, is it? You see, I did see this earlier. I'll be honest, but I just oh, thought right, it's okay. a bit, it's a bit rubbish. But you know, well, you that's, read it out. Then. That's the word. No, but he just sent, he just sent it to me now, and I felt bad for not not Who doing it. Who just sent it to you now? Matt did. <laughs> I, but I didn't realize you'd already seen it. Recorded, while we've been recording, Matt sent you a tweet from a listener. And said, make this a Farley's Fantasy Zone. No, no. no. He, he sent me a, a link to a... I don't know what this website is. Um, but then, yeah, with, <laughs> a, with a thing saying a possible late entry. And I was like, well, I could, I could run with this. Why not? Okay, go, go on then. All right, All right let's, let's hear it. Yeah. I, I don't even want to play the jingle, though, because it doesn't feel like a legitimate job. I mean, it saves me the edit, so cool. Yeah. <laughs> go on. Uh, so PlayStation has apparently privately acquired... I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, the rights for a very popular Konami IP. That's, <laughs> okay. that's, that's the rumor. I mean, so we're all thinking Metal Gear Solid, I guess. No, I, I'm I'm thinking Pro Evolution Soccer. <laughs> yeah. Bring it back. This story is developing because James, that URL now is a 404. What? Oh, really? They deleted it Fuck. because they know we were talking the about Illuminati it. The Illuminati oh, no. pulled it because we know too we much. We got in just in time. Oh, my God. I mean, also, I mean, the tweet originally came from somebody called, it was at VG News Insider. Oh, my God. So oh, yeah. why, would they, why would they be called that if they didn't have legitimate inside exactly. news on video games? Why exactly. are Insider? It's, yeah. Insider means that they know stuff, Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Yep. Or, it all adds up. They do, yeah. Fuck. It does. It does. I think we are going. I mean, they're they're going to announce this in the next I'm, day. I'm, I'm almost willing to say we never do Farley's Fantasy Zone again. <laughs> that's where I'm at. It's been yeah, that's cool. where it's I'm been at. diminishing that's returns, right. hasn't if Matt, it? If no, 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 you do, James. I'm cool with that. If you're just going to accept any old shit that gets sent to you during the show without reading it and thinking, is this worthy of my Fantasy Zone? Well, I'd already we decided it, no it wasn't. Earlier, but well, then, then why I felt did you pressure. fucking announce it then? Because I felt pressure too. You're letting, no, you're letting you Matt said, usurp no. you again. I didn't want to let you him down. Said, nah, Reddit shit. Just delete his Twitter. Block him. <laughs> yeah, join, join the rest of them, James. Just block right, him. Right, from now on, Matt can only message James with a chaperone present. And we have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, sorry, sorry, can I just interrupt? That's not Come on, look, I. I ignored one of his earlier trying to get me to add a new story. Okay. What was that? Did I? Yeah, yeah, you tried to get me to add the stuff about new GTA next gen stuff, but you know, it's not really anything there. So oh yeah, you I didn't did do, do that in the I chat. I mean that was some actual news. news. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely there. happening to be fair. Yeah, yeah, that yeah that's is actual, actual news, news that actually, actually you know, weird. I know, it didn't think it was very interesting. Um Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Should we get on to what you've been playing? Mm. Yes. Well let's start with Gran Turismo seven. Um uh, I've been playing it. I know James has been playing it, and Matt has been playing it. Yeah. Um. So th- th- this was the big release this week, right? Mm-hmm. So let's start there. And I'd like to start. I've just written a list of shit. Like before we get into the game, I've just written some notes, basically, just to make sure that all the stuff that I'd noticed while playing this game gets included in the discussion. So can we just start there? Because, Sean, you don't know anything about this game, do you really? Not really. Obviously, I've seen people tweeting about it, and it's like it was, you know, after I was, what what was I doing? I wasn't taking the piss out of Gran Turismo the other week, but I was sort of, you know, I was talking about how it feels like it's sort of receded somewhat, like it's not like the big sort of tentpole release, you know, used to be, whereas actually everyone was just like, no, 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 this is fucking brilliant. Like yeah. it's not, you know, it's okay. It's more on the the sim end of things, but a lot of people who aren't normally into that stuff seem to be really enjoying it, which is really nice to see. I don't know if it's at the sim end of things, though. okay? Like, it's it's the most 
baffling experience <laughs> I've ever played okay. in my life. It's, I mean, granted, right, so my history with uh, Gran Turismo was uh, Feeder, you know, yeah, that yeah. one. I played a lot of that one. Uh, I don't. I thought I'd play GT Sport, but I, I don't think I did. Because um, going back and looking at GT Sport, I was like, oh no, I don't remember any of this. So maybe I didn't. Um, so GT but, Sport was a PS4 one, wasn't it? Then they released. That's what, right. Previously no, they released like a PS3. That was PS3, wasn't it? Well, GT no, Sport done, is on PS4. No, that much. But yeah, I'm sure they've done GT Sport more than once. Like it's there's been yeah, a few. I think, of them. Oh, oh, we're we're all big fans. <laughs> oh no, it's the concept cars one. The concept cars one was PS3, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Was that that was just called yeah, GT yeah. Concept, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think I played that one and not GT Sport. That's what's okay. confusing me. Right. Okay. So. Um, so some of this might be in these older, ga- older games and I might miss them, right? But there's just a few. Let me go through my notes, right? So the progression system, I, I, you must have heard about this, right, Sean? No. The main campaign, imagine this, right? In a driving game like mm-hmm. this, a serious driving mm-hmm. game, you go to a cafe, you speak to the owner, they give you a menu. In that menu, there's silhouettes of cars and he gives you challenges to win those silhouettes of cars. You go do those challenges. You go back to the cafe. Mm. You talk to them and say, well done. I'm going to teach you the history of all of these cars. <laughs> okay. Little cutscenes, mm. long conversation trees about how the Volkswagen first started in a factory and such and such. Like, it is... it oh, Right, okay. That's the pro- main progression okay. when you See, first start I, the game, right? I like all of that, but go on. We'll get to it. We'll get to it, <laughs> yeah, James. We'll I get do to too, it. actually. The loot boxes are weird. Okay. Shows t- shows various different things on the screen and then slowly puts a uh, like a, a spotlight on all of them mm. and then selects something. It takes ages. Which is always long. the shittest one as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking okay. 2,000 yeah. credits every time. <laughs> okay. Graphics modes don't seem to make a difference during racing. Like, I have no idea what the graphics mode is. There's two <laughs> graphics options, uh, Sean. Yep. One is prioritize ray, it's ray tracing. <laughs> this sums it up, like, even the description of them. One says prioritize performance, mm. the other says prioritize ray tracing. Right. And when I first started playing it, I was like, I, I did prioritize performance. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, yeah, the frame I, rate I thought, one, yeah. I thought, oh, this doesn't look that great. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was going to blow my fucking head mm-hmm. off, but this looks a bit shit so i switched to um uh ray tracing and i went this feels like it doesn't drop to 30 frames so mm. how many frames is mm. it it seems to only affect like replays and stuff oh right like i don't i don't get the ray tracing either during races i, I can't really see that much of a difference mm. but okay so i've owned i just said it on frame rate and then Set it and forget it. But I do yeah. want to talk about the graphics. Is this the time okay, to do we'll it? Get to, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Let's just go through the notes. Uh, shows you the make and model of the car that you're overtaking during a race, Sean. <laughs> so when you're driving around in a race, yeah. if you overtake a car, there's a little pop-up on the right-hand side showing you the make and model of the car <laughs> that you've just overtaken. It okay. also shows the person's name, which I thought was quite sweet. <laughs> is it really? It's great. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, oh, this is kind of like drive a tar, but not... <laughs> No, you could drive past someone and be like, he's driving a Honda Jazz, the loser. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Sorry, Honda Fit. uh, There seems to be no consistency about what cars you can take into what races. Uh, For the first six or so races, I bought a Lambo into into a race where I was racing against VW (laughs) Campervans. How did you have that much money? Um, I got the deluxe edition, so maybe uh, I got okay. a little bit of money to start. But I unlocked the Lambo straight away, and it was no when limit to When you said you had too many credits, I was like, I'm about 150, and I bought loads of cars, because I've had to for the <laughs> oh, various really? different races. Yeah. Oh, I've only bought one car. Um, oh, right. I keep, I keep running out of money. You unlocked so many of them. I run out of yeah, money I, I, I'm getting close, too. I have to go to second-hand market, because I can't afford a new one. And I, I'm <laughs> just like, no, this car has to be from... Yeah. Well, that yeah. as well, yeah. Uh, the bit where you go and get your car washed is weird. Sorry, what? What did you do? You, what happens? You go get your car washed. Right. You can go and get your car serviced and washed. Yeah. And, and when you go to the car wash, you click on the car wash thing. It costs you fifty credits, mm. and a little character come on st- comes on screen and sort of just washes the little. You know, like a Twitter avatar is a circle, yeah, right? Yeah. Imagine the avatar in that circle just wiping around that circle right. that they're in, okay. and yeah. you go, "Okay." Can I just say, I'd love to know if these avatars are real people. 
<laughs> so would I. I thought, are they, have they been using that face generation uh, generator thing? Yeah. Or are they real? But they must be well, real. You mean like the pictures of those people? You yeah, mean? Yeah, the pictures of people. Yeah. I want to know if Paul I, is real. You know? <laughs> yeah. Paul, Andy. Uh, well, what's the guy in the cafe? What's his name? Oh, I can't remember. I, I, I don't yeah. know. I quite like his face. I assume okay. they're all real people, but. They look like real people, but who knows? Who but if they're knows? real uh, people, does that mean that they actually are like running a cafe and stuff like that? No, I, no, I think you might be <laughs> no, going too models. far there. <laughs> James watching EastEnders going, oh, <laughs> this pub looks very popular. Not murders over here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, and it was night time a minute ago, and now it's morning again. Yeah, right? How's this work? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> The, the the funny jazz music that plays when you fail a task in the driving school. Have you? Uh, oh, Matt, the you music in the driving, driving school, school is amazing. I mean, when you finish, when you complete a task, it sounds like the PC World song. I've been like so busy, but I really want to like, edit a video where I'm like cut the successful bit, like get gold or whatever, into the PC World because it's exactly the same as PC World. <laughs> but oh, if yeah. you slightly drive off of the track, it goes. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. The music okay. universally in this game is weird, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. If, well, my next, my next uh, uh, comment I've got written down, James, is the fact. In fact, the whole soundtrack is weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll get to that. Um, the HIV medication splash screens when loading is st- weird. Sorry, what? In fact, the whole intro uh, to the yeah, game is weird. Right. Oh, you heard that right, Sean. Okay. If if you leave it for a while, yeah. a splash screen comes up teaching the history of HIV medication. Uh, the game, I mean, the game opens up with a whole... I, the whole intro is insane, right? It's like five-minute video with piano playing over the top, like taking you through the history of the world. It's the history of automobiles. Like, it's the history of, the, of, yeah. of cars and car development. Right, but how's the... But, how's, and the Titanic. And the HIV, say, how's HIV they medication come they, they, They're trying to provide context like, okay. of like, historical events as well. That's why they've done that. Okay. Well, right, okay, so that's why they've got the history of... The tit- well, no, James, come on. No, that makes complete well, sense. I mean, it's like, the Titanic is, is... It makes absolutely no fucking sense. Well, there's the some sense. relevance. It does. The Titanic stuff is sort if, of relevant because it's was... giving you a signpost as in, in, like, in terms of this is where engineering was at. Exactly. Um, right, okay. If, yeah. yeah, but if you keep that to cars, I think that makes sense. Yeah. But just having like Einstein writing E equals MC squared on a board yeah. for a bit. That, what, what about the ballerina, James? What about the bit where the ballerina's just dancing across the screen? Again, they're trying to show the time in which the, these developments were the happening. Time, okay. I, I quite right. enjoyed that intro. I so did say. I. I thought it was really interesting. You're fucking insane. You enjoyed that <laughs> intro. Yeah, it's just like, it's like a little bit of history. You know, you know, I was like, okay, so these are when the first cars came out. It's when the first motor vehicles were made. Oh, look, okay, Titanic that's songs fine. again. But the ballerina and the Titanic and all that shit leave off. You enjoyed it. There's <laughs> yeah, no way there's you enjoyed it. Titanic song, and here's the first mini metro. It's an interesting way to present it. There's absolutely no fucking way you've sat there and enjoyed it. It's not, it, you can't even skip it, Sean. And then after that's done, yeah. there's a, a really exciting uh, um, intro movie, isn't there? Where, where it's well, showing. Well, it's the trailer, actual, again, which I've seen before. In game stuff. Right, okay, it's the trailer, but I, I hadn't seen it. But I just thought, just put that up and make it skippable. <laughs> this whole bit is weird at the no, start. No, because of the, game. the whole game is a love letter to to motor motoring, to cars, to the history of the cars, to how, where they come about, where yeah, their places. Yeah, as well. and you can so do that without some... putting a boring fucking long video. No, at the it's start not boring of the thing, though, because it's the it, Titanic and that. It provides some nice like historical context to what's going on. I mean, I'm sorry it hasn't got like explosions and like guns going off <laughs> oh, and stuff fuck like that. Off. It's like You're you know, just talking bollocks. There's no way that you sat there and went. This is really interesting. The well, Titanic. Really like it was. Yeah, I, sat, yeah, I oh, did sit there and oh, enjoy it. There's Laura and Hardy. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Charlie Chaplin's on the screen now. Oh, this is absolutely fucking yeah, fantastic. It was short and sweet. I enjoyed it for like it's it wasn't very short different. and sweet. It's about five minutes long, man. Eight, eight minutes actually, but it was um, it was it's eight it's eight minutes. Minutes. <laughs> long and short for me. Why are they trying to pretend that they're like highbrow? They, 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 they this is. I'm cool. not. I'm just saying I enjoyed it because it's quite different to every other like, game intro. Why are you so angry about the fact that it isn't like? I don't know, like some cars exploding and stuff like that, and like going, oh, it didn't this is need to be cars exploding. It just didn't need to be an eight-minute-long video where I'm watching the history of fucking time for eight minutes, unskippable, James. 
I it's don't a terrible see what the problem is. You know that, I mean, you know that meme? Mean, okay. That meme with like the old woman sort of talking about the internet and then the person saying, okay, Gran, let's get you to bed or whatever. The joke being that what she's oh, saying yeah, sounds yeah. insane. I'm going to do one of those and it's just going to be me going like, oh, I remember the time that Dave accused Matt and James of virtue signaling over the GT7 intro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely that's that's de- uh, uh, mate honestly i'm telling you they're t- they're talking bollocks okay. there's no way anyone can sit there and enjoy that rubbish <laughs> absolute fun rubbish. little thing uh, absolutely ridiculous anyway uh, no 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 i will say at that point i was quite thankful to see something new because i downloaded the game downloaded the update <laughs> what right do you mean? But, I ha- new. but crucially i hadn't Open, I hadn't started the game and I'm not sure if it's the same for you this is like after a day or so of installing it actually came early but I didn't play it until like the weekend because I was busy anyway I turned it on I was like brilliant I've got an hour let's play some GT just play some Grand Turismo 7 and yeah, I was like downloading download more. I was like oh, are you fucking kidding me yeah, and so yeah, I yeah. did the uh, music rally stuff which we'll probably talk about I enjoyed that but th- I mean I played that for an hour and a half until it finished downloading. And I've got good internet. I'm like, what the hell is this? When that finally <laughs> finished, I'm like, thank God. And I'm like, okay, well, here's a five little minute video. And I didn't mind it at that point. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was that like, it's no more music right, and I can actually <laughs> fucking play the game. <laughs> so, it so it downloaded, it did the same downloading thing for everyone, did it? I wasn't just yes, unlucky. Yeah, no, it did it for me, yeah. Once, Why once does it I'd... do that? Like, I don't oh, know. I don't know. But then, yeah, it, that was really frustrating. Very right. annoying. That Great intro. stuff out of the way that was all of the weird <laughs> shit that i have written down um i fucking love it like i've been playing it non-stop i'm insanely addicted to the game um the i mean all that stuff it's so weird sean mm. like the as- aesthetic and uh the s- the things that you do in this game feels more akin to a golf game than it does a driving game okay. right because you know you go to a golf game and it's like hey go to the clubhouse you can do this now mm. and it's like go oh, and speak over over here you know you know how golf yeah, games yeah. are that's what that splash screen that main menu bit is like <laughs> right james yeah it, you're absolutely spot on with that yeah it, it's, it's just it, like it, that. It, it just feels like a golf game mm-hmm. and then the driving itself We'll get to the graphics in a bit, but the driving itself feels just so good. Mm-hmm. The I, you know, I've got a few legitimate problems with it. I think, in terms of guiding you through difficulty, I think the game struggles. Mm-hmm. Right, so I've hit a wall. There are times. Sorry, I've just hit a wall with it. Actually, not in the well, actually, yeah, in the game. But what, so what are we all? It, are we all playing on normal or what? So playing? I'm playing on normal. Um, yeah, I'm playing on normal on both settings because there's two settings for for. Um, uh difficulty right there's one for assists <clears throat> and one for racing mm-hmm. oh right i'm playing on normal difficulty and i've turned some assists off and i've got like the braking zones on but i, I wasn't sure that was two separate things but because I, I, yeah. I put beginner to start with like i was driving as the beginner set in terms of assists to start with and i was just like this is like way too there's way too much assist here. Like I, I, I literally couldn't crash because yeah. it was slowing the car down for me. It was. It does um, braking. It does acceleration. Even steering. I think it will do as well. Like it's ridiculous. Like it's. I mean, I, I, I started on normal and then put it down to easy. But then I've turned the assists off for things like braking and all that sort of stuff because yeah, so it just I, doesn't I, feel I've right. done that. Yeah, I've done that. What's what's wild about that is that obviously the assists are off during the driving school bits, mm-hmm. so you get used to driving without the assist on, and then all of a sudden you're in a race, and it's like, whoa, hold on, it's fucking practically controlling it for me. Um, but you know, with all that stuff aside, when you do get into a race, that oh, I, I don't know, man, I, I'm just finding it so insanely addictive. I think part of it is down to the fact that the load times are so low that actually it's a genuinely really fun driving game. Um, the whole vibe around it is is just really relaxing and quite chilled out, and mm. I like it. Um, and I don't know what it is. I can't right put my finger on it other than it's just a really chilled out experience. What do you? I mean, how are you finding it, James? See, I'm I'm feeling the same because I I really I'm liking the structure of it in particular, like this whole menus thing. I quite like that because it. Uh, see, I'm as I've said before, I'm not somebody who's particularly into racing games anyway, and I'm liking the way it's given me like these objectives to then learn how you know how the whole how the systems work in the game. That's that's been pretty good. I have got to. I think the dual sense stuff is very cool, like the way it feels like when you're when you're driving because you really do get that feeling 
you know, from, on different surfaces and everything that I've I've not experienced in a gotcha. in driving game before. I mean, I, I forget the surfaces and stuff, which do feel great. I mean, most importantly, like you know, when you go over, is it called a chevron? Yeah, the, the, you know the things on the corners, the red and yeah. blue things. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the corners. corners. Yeah, when you when you hit those, they feel exactly like when you're on a motorway and you're you you're crossing the lane. You know, it feels like you're holding the 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 fucking steering wheel at times. But but more importantly, the triggers. Yeah, feel, the acceleration. Oh, can, yeah. yeah, God, the acceleration when the ABS kicks in, all that stuff is crazy. Have you done a race in the rain yet, James? Uh, yes, I have, and it was. Oh God, and that's an experience. <laughs> <It's> yeah, like... <laughs> it really is, and it really makes you you like you can literally. The feelings that you've had through driving, you know, on the pedals under your feet, you mm-hmm. can feel them in your in your fingers while you're playing. It's mad. Like it is mad. That's the best bit I've had the game. I mean, yeah, I'd say this is the best use of the dual sense since like um, Astro Bot or whatever. It like in terms of showing actually why this is very cool and why it's it's yeah. it's really good for this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fantastic for this game for I, sure. I thought it was good. It didn't blow me away. I thought it was good. Really? I like the fact you can feel the curves and if you can feel basically when the cars. You know when the back end's coming out, and you can feel different types of car. It didn't, it didn't do. It, it didn't feel transformative, but it was certainly very satisfying. Have you gone over? Have you done a race with like some storm drains in it and stuff? Some road drains in it? No, I don't think I've only done track stuff. I haven't done any non-track stuff yet. It's so like yeah, there's one with like road drains in it. And when you go over them, it's like oh my god, this just feels like I'm like I know this feeling because mm-hmm. I've driven before. <laughs> Like, it's really, really strange. Like I, I, I've been loving it uh, for that stuff. I mean, um, the only thing is, is I'm, I'm quite, I'm not great at it at all. And I've just, as I said, I've just hit a point where I'm. It, it was, I was not finding it terribly difficult because I was just doing, I was just going and tuning my car like every time. So it was like ridiculously more powerful than like whatever it was I was <laughs> racing against, and it was yeah. great. But then I've got to the point now where I've kind of run out of money and I can't really do that anymore. And I'm also racing. You know the the first set where you're um, racing for American cars, like the ones that are like, I don't know if they're like muscle cars or whatever. And it, I think, what level are you? Uh, eight, I think. Eight or nine. I can't remember. I think I'm around where you are, but I think maybe I'm one thing behind you. And How far have you got into the driving school? Uh, only, I've only done B class. I've only done, that's as far as I've got. You've completed B class, right? Yeah, because yeah, one, one of the yeah. menus, one of the menus yeah. asks you to, to, to complete B class, right? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's one you have to complete to unlock multiplayer. So I've done the same. I've I've done I've got all golds in B license, and that's it. But these these You've got all golds in that. Yeah, I've not done yeah. that. I'm, there's no way oh, I'm, I'm going to be go able to back. achieve that. I, I think there's like two or three of them that I haven't got. Have you beaten all my scores, Matt? Because when yeah, I looked, well, no. You... So for me, the game wasn't getting golds. It was being it was getting to the top of the leaderboards, and it was basically you. Uh, I mean, it was basically you two and Sam and Andy. And uh, I was basically okay. Like, I can get gold, that's fine. But no, I want to get, I want to get to the top. And I got to the top of like up to first seven or eight, and then I couldn't quite do it. And I spent like an hour trying to beat, trying to get like, another like ten thousandths of a second off my time. And I was like, I'm, I'm not going to progress the game if I focus on this. So then I, I just moved on, just, just up with a gold. But I find How the game is actually in licenses right? at least. The game is actually just trying to beat your friends on leaderboard, not just getting the golds. But um, yeah, See, I love the licenses. For me with this, I've because in the past when I've tried to play um racing games that are like more serious racing games like this i've tried to do that and i've ended up just really frustrating myself because i'm as i said i'm not very good at it this one i've come to the conclusion that i was not even going to try and do that in the first place i'm just going to try and i'm just going to play this and enjoy it as much as i can and just get through things you know as as best as i can and that so far that has been more enjoyable but the the stuff yeah. with the with these like muscle cars though is it's really hard it's mostly because you know they drift like so back like so easily like around corners and stuff and it's just it's really difficult like i found but uh, you know i need to go back and you're not uh, tempted to just like add a few assists then for that yeah, I guess I could. I hadn't actually thought of doing that, honestly. Um, maybe I probably because could, if you've but... knocked a bunch of assists off, yeah, I'm sure there's ones that stop. You know, the, the handling becomes a little bit uh, more straightforward. But that's it, isn't it? I think, I think that is its biggest problem: the fact that, like, even going into the race, the some of the races, I'm thinking, I don't know where I sit in terms of difficulty in this race and i've had one race some races where i'm winning by like 14 seconds yeah and i've had some races where i've like not even got out from last place because the moment i hit a straight they're away everyone else is away and it's like well this just feels like i've picked the wrong car Mm -hmm. rather than the fact that my driving's not as good as theirs 
You know, that is the advantage of, of what Forza does. And we're not going to compare them directly because what's the point? They're, doing, they're two completely different games. They're doing different things. But the one side that Forza does where you enter a car and whatever you want to drive and it just automatically puts all the cars alongside of you in a similar class, like that could mm. really benefit uh, well, this, Gran Turismo, I think. This kind of does that in the sense of when you're about to start an event, you do the change car thing and it will show you all the <laughs> yeah, ones that yeah. are suitable for that event. Yeah, so are... so but but the early the early le- uh, the early races it doesn't do that, mm-hmm. and then the later races there's such a wide range of cars that fit the the criteria that it, it's giving you. Not always you can't. Uh, not always, but a lot yeah. of a lot of the time, James. Mm-hmm. Like, have you unlocked the um, what is it the the uh the safety car? No, I haven't got that one. No, right. So you get if you get the safety car right. You honestly, it feels like a cheap one for for sort of small hatchback races because mm-hmm. you just absolutely pelt it around the tracks faster than anyone else, and it kind of feels like there should be some sort of guidance here. I think. Mm-hmm. How far um, are you into the game, David? How many menus have you done? Oh, I went to, well, about the same as James, by the sounds of it. Okay, so I, I've I'm on currently on menu book twelve, so I've unlocked multiplayer. There's still, I think, you keep unlocking things on the map until you're like. Let menu 17 or around them, but yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I got the sport, I think sport was the last uh, yeah, thing that I've I unlocked. Unlock sport, I've unlocked multiplayer. I don't know what that is. Sport is, I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've I think that's maybe online. Have you, un- have you unlocked missions as well? I don't believe I have actually, no, yeah, because well, that's, that's I think I've unlocked missions. I think that was the last one I unlocked. I can't remember. I think well, that's what the last one I unlocked as well, actually. What that's, do the missions yeah, involve? That that's just where they give you specific things like you've got to like overtake a certain number of cars or whatever, you know, without oh, cool. colliding okay. or anything. Oh, it's like, like with a certain, yeah. challenges yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean look, I, I think uh Grand Turismo Seven, like I, 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 I've really enjoyed it way more than I thought I would, to be honest with you. Um but I, I think the most interesting thing is that I've enjoyed it in ways that I never considered I would. Like for example, smashing through the uh, the driving school, repeating it over and over and over and uh, and over again to try and Im- improve my times on that. Um, just having a quick drive around, I've uh, you know I've taken the piss out of the aesthetic and the the progression system and all of that a lot, but it's so endearing that you know I kind of love it for it. Do you know what I mean? Like it, well, I, I didn't mention that sometimes you get this weird cutscene after you go into the cafe where it just shows you like a river. And then yeah. it goes up and shows you some cars going along, and you're like, "What the fuck is this for? What, yeah. what is this for?" Like, James, you can say that the intro was amazing all you want. But I did say it was amazing. Told, I said I enjoyed it. You, you told me how to turn it off. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, couldn't have been that great. I think, look, there's a lot of there's a lot of weird shit in this game. It's genuinely one of the weirdest games I've ever played. Like, it uh, is so. It just does. It does its own thing. But that's cool, that's right? Like, that's, it could have been just really fucking dry, and in, in a way, exactly. it kind of is. But in, yep. that's the point, and that like it really sounds yeah. like it really dives into yeah, that. Sure. And that's, it works. Yeah, yeah, it works. This, I mean, this it is feels a like game... a racing game made by someone that's not seen a racing game for ever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this this doesn't feel like. like a game that has been focus tested, like to yeah. you know to appeal to as broad a range of people, or whatever. It's it's. Oh, like, I was going to say gone, naming like, no what? names. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, it's it's clearly <laughs> been designed, you know, because somebody's wanted to fulfill something that they wanted to do, rather than yeah. it being like, you know, for a massive audience or whatever. Mm-hmm. Even though but I still for, think it's quite good. For, for, uh, yeah, yeah, that's such bollocks. That's such <laughs> what do you mean? That's, it's exactly what you've just said. <laughs> it's exactly what you've just said. What have I just said? You have just said before this that this was. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember how to express <laughs> this now. <laughs> you've just said before this. Oh, I'm going to talk myself into a hole again. It's best to bail out now. Hole, but no, this is the point. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is really annoying me now. <laughs> yeah, but you've just taken a swipe at Forza Horizon. No, I haven't. How have I just taken? Sh- a- Why are you so sensitive about Forza I, Horizon? I, I also <laughs> assumed that's what you were talking about when you're talking about focus testing and mass appeal and stuff. Sean. Like James, come on. What? 
Don't try and act the idiot. <laughs> no, no. Don't try all, and act. no, all I'm saying is that this game has clearly been designed in a very different way. And you just said this has been... Different this, ways to no, what? No, you have just said this was a game that was designed by somebody that hasn't played other racing games very much recently. Absolutely. So how is that Absolutely. any different to me saying it hasn't been focus tested? <laughs> because the one, one, one is focusing on the game in front of us. The other was a sprayed effect outwards no, it wasn't. towards <laughs> various different games. <laughs> James, come on. Because it hasn't been focus tested. What, is, what, what is wrong with saying that? You're just, you're just being so sensitive because you <laughs> love Forza Horizon so much and because you know it, it's because it's you know it's it's on Game Pass and all that kind of thing, and you're just so weird <laughs> about it, James. That's not why I like Forza Horizon, mate. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, genuinely, I, I, I've um, I've played it pretty much every night since uh, I got my hands on it. It was sent over by a friend of the show. I don't know if they want their name mentioned, but they want um, to be associated. My with. word. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, I, it's the. The other thing that was the one thing that we haven't spoken about, uh, visually, I'm quite surprised. It's pretty unimpressive, it isn't it? Really? Because yeah. I yeah. saw like uh, right now. So hang on. So there's. <laughs> I was going to yes. say I've seen screenshots no, and they look say. fucking real. Yep. However, I've since yes. been made aware that some of those, or I mean, in hindsight, possibly all of them, they're in like a specific photo mode, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, Which uses honestly, real background. Yeah. You look at the re- you look at the replays in this mm. game. It's like it's a different yeah. game. Like, oh, okay. I know there's always been that that sort of uh, thing about replays are clearly better and all this. Sort well, because of stuff it, yeah, because a games. replay can use it can look like a filmed event, can't it? Like you like That's you might right. see on the television. Whereas, but no, but Sean's talking about scape this this scape mode. Yeah, yeah, those as well. Yeah, but that, that's what I'm talking. Yeah, so you've that's got different to replays, though, isn't it? Well, I know, but the the same visual effects are in effect for the replays as they are right. the uh, the photo mode, right? So all of the ray tracing, all of the higher detailed textures, all of that stuff is in those modes. But when you're actually driving, I think it's a little bit disappointing. Mm. I mean, who cares, really? But well, I care because <laughs> I think part of it was I wanted to see like how good uh, PS5 could do a racing game. You know what I mean? Mm. I wanted to see it look yeah, amazing. Yeah. And while I'm driving around, I'm like, it looks yeah. all right. I mean, it's still... Yeah, it yeah. So, looks better than, just, say, just Project on Cars that. and shit like so, that. So, yeah, so the replays look better, but Escapes Mode, you, you basically... You get a whole world map where they're like, here's some locations where you can put your car mm-hmm. into and you can change the car, you can like, move the car around, but the backgrounds you're putting the car into are... What's I think they're real photos right. basically. So the car also looks better. Oh because... no way! I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they are. yeah have yeah. you not been in escapes mode? Yeah, the, the escapes mode is very photos. strange. Photos. Yeah. Well, it, it basically looks like real locations. So oh, they're definitely like, so real they look locations. amazing. Plus, they are right. Yeah, definitely they're real locations. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say yeah, yeah. So re- a real life location in the background, real photo of a location, plus the car with all the ray tracing and stuff. So the, that photo mode looks amazing. Then you've got replays which look better because it looks like they have added some extra kind of you know, special source, whatever it is to them. And then you've got kind of standard gameplay where the visuals look how they look. I mean, I, I, and I, I'm going to compare this to Forza Horizon. I know they're vastly different games, but it's like the last big racing game mm-hmm. we played. Like the graphics on that are spectacular, mostly because of, you're in spectacular environments, you're doing spectacular things, you know, from the, you know, the, the dust of Mexico to the small cities to the small towns. It, it just the whole thing looks spectacular. This looks, it looks, Good and when you look into like, some of the details of the cars, particularly the lighting, it looks absolutely stunning what they've done. But in general, kind of gameplay, it just feels quite sterile. Mm. It almost feels yeah. like it's like missing some lighting at points. It's like it just it I looks think, good and solid. But I'm not I'm not blown away. But I really thought like, I'm going to get blown away by it just like I was to say Horizon. Mm. I but I just really haven't. I mean, it's been fine. I've only again played in frame rate mode. Maybe if I was playing in uh, you know graphical mode, whatever it is, it would be drastically different. But from what I've seen, I was just, it looks nice, it looks good, but nothing to really write home about. The only thing I'm wondering about this is, is the better comparison, though, if you're going to compare the games, would the better comparison be with Forza Motorsport rather than Horizon, though? Well, yeah, yeah I was thinking that. I mean, maybe if I played Forza, Forza Motorsport, I'd also say that that was also less spectacular because of the track layouts versus Yeah, because Horizon Horizon's stuff. always so had I'd a sort of li- hyper, the... real sort of feel to it, hasn't it? Which, yeah. So maybe compared to another sort yeah. of relatively, you know, straight-laced racing game, it's yeah, probably probably 
Which is yeah, I, I, if I played that, if that came out, I probably would think of the same thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it looks it looks great, and yeah, in certain modes, and particularly yeah, when you go up close to a car, it looks it looks unbelievable. Yeah. And particularly like the lights for some reason. That's what I really focus on. Just like seeing the various kind of reflectors in the lights and how they look. I think uh, it looks stunning. Yeah. But in general gameplay, I just haven't really. The visuals are not a kind of a thing I focus on mm. at all, really. No, the, the scapes thing is interesting because I. <laughs> Like it's definitely a cool idea, um, and but like I don't know, I'm not like saying anyone's lied to me, but I know what you're but thinking. I've, I've uh, seen, I... yeah, I've seen people posting those screenshots with no context whatsoever, and me thinking, holy shit, this game looks incredible. Like I've been 100 percent misled by them, but obviously over time, I'm like, hang on a minute, there's another screenshot from the exact same camera angle. I it's... mean, it's clearly not the intention. Yeah. I don't think it's the intention, the original intention, yeah. but I, I think there's like a an idea that, oh, this could be a byproduct of what we provide in the game, and that's mm. okay with mm-hmm. us. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I mean? I mean, the amount of that's camera weird. settings in that mode is is the most exhausting I think I've ever seen in a photo yeah. mode. I mean, it, it's got all, all that, uh, you know, it, it's got a lot of got standard <laughs> camera settings that you wouldn't ordinarily see, or they'd be hidden from you in, a, in another photo mode, another yeah. game. But yeah, it's incredibly impressive, like with the incredibly realistic slash realistic or real backgrounds, it's, combining them with all yeah. the various camera effects and the fact, you know, the, the cars look as good as they do. You can create some stunning pictures. And there's like, um, as well as ones you create yourself, there is kind of like trending or most popular around the world. And yeah, I, I went through and looked at a few of them on the weekend. It, yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. If you're into like car photography, this is mm-hmm. absolutely has to be the best the best option you've ever had in the game. It was crazy, the amount of like camera options. I mean, I just looked at it. I was like, oh, just just whack a filter on it. It's all right. It's, it's all good. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, the I amount mean, of settings is crazy. It's, yeah, uh, if you're yeah. a photographer yeah, exactly, and, you want, yeah. and you're into like game photography or particularly car photography, this is like an absolute dream. This is the best it's ever been. Cool. See, I'm also finding this quite addictive like to play. and But then I'm just wondering if this is because I spent 70 quid on it as well. <laughs> Because like, I didn't like, I, I should really like Forza Horizon because it's more of my kind of game. Mm. But I didn't play hardly any of it. Whereas this, I am playing. And is that just because I want to get my money <laughs> out of it? It's just I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I, I maybe think... there might be part of that. Um, because you know it is it is a problem with Game Pass games. We've you know mentioned it before how they can feel a bit. You know, sort of throw away. You could just drop them. It's not a problem. It's also like yeah, you just in it. I'll go back sometime. You know, I could just. It's fine. It didn't cost anything. I'll go back. You know, one day. But then you don't. You know, it's it's easy. I think. I. You know, it, it's a shame that we have to keep talking about Forza because they really, really are different games, and they're trying to set out to do two completely different things. And I think they both succeed at what they're doing. As someone that's played a lot of Project Cars. You know, I find this a lot more fun to play, um, even though it is a serious, a more serious uh, motorsport game uh, than Project Cars is. Um, I, I think maybe part of the addiction, James. I don't, I don't know how you feel. Is the uh, lack of loading times? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. The the in, when you restart, it's instantly, instantly there. That that was a game changer when I was like redoing the licenses or if yeah. you restart a race. It's like pretty much instantly back in which is it makes such a big difference doesn't it Mm -hmm. i just think the general gameplay loop is really short and compelling i mean again i'm maybe up to like menu 12 but you know uh, you'll you'll do a couple of races you go back to the cafe you'll get a new menu a couple of more missions you know races take no 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 time at all to load um it's all pretty kind of quick and easy to go around there i mean there's a lot of things on the menu but pretty, pretty quick and easy to access it all and it's just it's just nice to like you can blitz through it and yeah, you feel like nothing's really getting in your way at all, mm-hmm. which I quite like. And that I'm definitely, I haven't played as much as you two, I don't think, but what I have played, yeah, it's very easy to say, okay, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do It's like, it's kind of like one more go, but it's just constant, really. There's never like, oh, I'll stop now after this, because you're like, well, I might as well do one more race, or I might as well buy that, or do this, or do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm surprised by it. And um, I think, uh, you know, it's it's kind of hard to talk about on a show like this because it's been out since Friday. You're hearing this on Wednesday. I think you'll know if you'll like it or not. If you like racing games that take themselves seriously, you'll love this, I think. Um, if it's you just amazing that licenses back as well. Like, yeah, licenses is a great mode. Great. 
I loved it in the originals. It feels like it's even got like the same old sounds. Yeah, like, I'm so glad Lars is back in, and that is like. Was, a, it, was a, it not in the last one then? I, I don't know. I haven't played no, the, they last, definitely last were in the last the sport one. ones. They, it was. It was no. definitely in the sport one because I I played it and they were in there. Alright, because I saw um like some comparisons because uh I saw some comparisons to like older versions and the menu system in sport was that very similar to this, James? Yeah, very, very similar. Did they yeah. have the cafe and stuff? No, I don't there wasn't the cafe, no. They didn't do that. The cafe's just so funny. Have you clicked on any of the other people on the cafe yet? Uh, yes, and they they just start talking to you about the, whatever car you got out the back, and then just start telling you stuff. <laughs> have you have you have you spoken to the people at the bottom of the screen just before you start a race? Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I wonder what they say. I clicked on one, and they were like, Oh yeah, your car's very nice. It's this. Yeah, I was like, it's like, I'm, I'm here. I'm over here oh, okay. from Bulgaria uh, racing in this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's I'm so driving weird. my trademark Aston Martin. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. And then when I was on a track, like mm, straight past Fernandez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's so bizarre isn't it but it, it's definitely it's definitely weird but i love it for that it's definitely its own thing and i think what james saying earlier about not being focus tested this is so many of these things were just like now nah, get rid of that now nah, getting this but this has its own this own feeling its own kind of sense of self and i kind of love it for that it's like a weird it's a weird world in it on its own it's not like any other racing game i've really played and i, and I really love it for that like the various people you meet just the the vibe of the whole thing, it goes from like quite si- well, very silly to then quite silly when you're talking to someone in a cafe about getting a new menu book with some new cars to race. It's all it's all very much it knows itself and I, I really like it for that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh I I rate it highly actually. I think maybe eventually this will come to something like PS Plus or whatever, and Sean, when you eventually get a PS Five, I mean, I was going to say, uh, yeah, I, I mean, this is I think it's worth giving obviously, it a in, you know, on its own is not enough, but I think this is officially reason number one that I would like a PlayStation Five. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, really? It sounds great. I thought you had no interest in this. I as didn't well. <laughs> until everyone started saying it's fucking brilliant. I'm very easily swayed. Um. It is no, it, it just, it's, the, it's I mean, the, the things people are saying about it. It just sounds really interesting and, and quite unique. Um, I was expecting the, the one thing you're going to the one thing you're going to want to do when you get a PS5, mm-hmm. Sean, is to fuck around with that controller. Yeah. And I think this, alongside uh, Astrobot, is quite a good launch package, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. it shows off that yeah. stuff. Although saying that, you've not bought a uh, dual set. No, I haven't. Uh, uh, whatever, whatever what it's is called. it called? A dual set? Yeah. Whatever. It's a dual sense. The PS5 yeah. controller. Well, yeah. I'm kind of surprised you haven't, because that shit works on PC games. It does. Though, not right? many though. Um, I don't oh, really? think because I know like Cyberpunk recently got an update to add that stuff to the PS5, but I don't think it's in the PC version yet. I know Deathloop does, um, but I think it's it's pretty few and far between. But yeah, I have certainly been tempted for that reason. I would say probably your best bet is to save yeah. it if you if you think you'll end up with a, a PS5 oh, at some point yeah, yeah um yeah then I would save it for that experience of playing Astrobot mm. uh for the first time because that really is like making that controller mm. just absolutely yeah. fly god I hope they release a new Astrobot <laughs> please Sony it's what we I want wish more people just do something with the controller like I've been playing Horizon and it's like they, they nothing is it that's really? weird bizarre, isn't it yeah, i can understand it? multi-format yeah. stuff not bothering but something like horizon you'd really have thought they'd yeah i mean it won't work well in returnal right it, it was pretty cool in returnal or again is that because like horizon is it's you know it's PS4 that's true well. it's yeah 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 it's cross-gen isn't and it and then so is gran turismo you know yeah. it's i don't know mm. okay right so that's probably enough for gran turismo I'll, i will say I'll... I, i'm looking forward to playing some online racing uh, have you gone into the menus, the online racing menus? Well, yeah. I love that. There's there's yeah. a bunch. There's like multiplayer and there's also sport. But um, on one of them, I think I went into both just to see what the deal was. Because I really wanted to see if you can create private lobbies or kind of, you know, permanent leagues that people could join. But it doesn't look like you can. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, on one of them, it may have been, say, multiplayer. There's like five or six kind of pop-up menus that say, you know, if you're going to play online, make sure you're racing, the, you know, go on the racing line. Don't push someone out on the track. Don't smash into them. You have, like, your own, um, like, rating system, which you which you get high numbers if you race more, but also if you, like, start smashing other players off the track, you lose points there. But it's, like, 
it was given it was showing pictures of if this is a racing line make sure you don't cut in too quickly to cut off the other player and i thought that was quite nice and i've actually kind of taken that into when i'm playing you know the single player campaign now I'm like okay, i'm not gonna like smash through the middle or not all smashing cars off the track but i would certainly kind of dart on in on the inside now i'm not no no i'll be a bit more respectful of the uh <laughs> CPU players. Oh, right, they don't have care. feelings. Fuck them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I do not yeah. care. So, <laughs> I'll do whatever you do I can to win. You get massive boost for clean racing, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty yeah, yeah, percent of your yeah. credits. Um, but I, I would love, I no would love players online. I love seeing what it's like on a, you know, if you get like the whole, the whole, uh, the, you know, the whole uh, bunch of uh, players, all kind of okay. human players would be good. All right. Okay, so that's Grand Tourism 7. I'm sure we'll have more to say about that in the coming weeks. Um, I'll, I'll continue. Uh, I, I uh, The same person that uh, sorted me out with Grand Tourism also sorted me out with a copy of an El- Elden Ring. Who? What is going on? Santa. Santa. Dave's I... mysterious <laughs> benefactor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Which um, I had no intention of playing this game. Mm. Absolutely. So you let no me down, Dave. I... No, I'm the odd one out. Sure enough, it's oh, fuck off. No. I mean, I would say hold <laughs> yeah. off until it's a little bit cheaper. No, that, that is right? my plan. I'm not saying never, ever. I just, I'm a bit sick of everyone going on about it. Present company, present company I know, excluded. I know. Um, say, I was the same. I was just, absolutely yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the, the reason why I would say it is because I think we feel very similar about the Souls yes. games at yeah, the yeah. moment. You know, it's that very much, it's that I can't face mm-hmm. it. I can't, mm-hmm. you know, I love Dark Souls 1. It's the only one I've completed. Dark Souls 3, I got to the supposed really hard boss in it, <laughs> beat that, and then kind of felt any enthusiasm to <laughs> continue. I had the same thing with Bloodborne. I beat mm-hmm. Rom, and I was like, I'm kind of done now. Yeah. Um, so I finished, I, I finished I think... Souls 1 to 3. I finished Bloodborne. And that, yeah, to, to me, wow, that has so felt room. like enough. But go on. What I will yeah. say is that this one feels so uh-huh. different, but yet keeps all the cool shit from those games. Um, and I really do think they've, like, it's amazing how they've nailed the open mm-hmm. world. It's it's so weird. So I started playing. Let me tell you my experience, and I, I'm sure. I, it, it's not spoilers, right? Because I'll be like quite relatively yeah. vague. But um, so I, obviously, I didn't play this day one, so I knew the tutorial was downstairs <laughs> that everyone's been yeah. talking about. But then I did the tutorial. I didn't really need to mm-hmm. do it. It was like if you've played a Souls game before, this is what it teaches yeah. you, right? That there's one thing. There's the whole block and instant reply thing, which I still don't fully understand. And but... holding weapons with two hands. A lot of people seem to miss that. Well, yeah, but the whole holding weapons with two hands is in Dark Souls anyway. So if you've played through one of those games, you kind of know it anyway, right? I guess, but I didn't know the button combination. So I'm glad I did the tutorial as well. Uh, okay. Um, so I did that. I went out to the open world. I followed where it wanted me to go. I came across a really hard enemy that I thought uh, I should be fighting. And I thought, ah, this is it. This is the Dark Souls <laughs> thing that I didn't want. So why am I back here again? Um, and then we did some co-op, didn't we, James? Me, you, and John Denton did yeah. some free player co-op. Does that, does that work that all right, does it? Bit... Is that pretty seamless? That, oh, no, no it okay. doesn't. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. We were talking to each other for about 20 minutes trying to get into the ah, same great. world. And we were going, have you got the... The finger of the furloughed. It's the gnarled old finger like... of whatever. It's, it's like I said <laughs> yeah, on the stream, it like... it's like they all sound like IPAs. <laughs> like everything is just like... <laughs> and it was like, we'll do, we'll do this. And then, oh my God, we're, we're in someone else's world. Like, I don't want to be in this world. Oh no, we need to go to multiplayer, set a password, then lay a sign mm. down. If you lay the sign first and then I ring the bell and then I'm like, oh my God, Ugh. this is fucking excruciating. We finally got into the the world together we start battering people then we come across one enemy that killed no it was like i got surrounded by a mob they killed me and i was like oh i'm back in my world Mm now so how can i get back into your world we can't because you're already in a later part of that area now that i haven't got to so i can't warp there so it was like oh fuck (laughs) this but 
I said to John while I was doing this, this is the bit that I'm stuck on. There's this massive giant. You know, I'm really struggling mm. to kill him. And he was like, well, don't come up here. <laughs> it's like, but the game is pointing me up here. I've done the first area, in quotations, with lots of these little mm. night things. That was pretty straightforward. Now I've sat at a bonfire out of what looks like a run. He was like, no, just... You don't need to do that in this game. You literally... You've got a horse. I didn't even know I had the <laughs> horse. But it was like, you've got a horse. Yeah, it just ride around and go places and just look around. And... The feeling I'm getting, James, I don't know if you agree, but there's been a lot of comparisons to Breath of the Wild, which I, I, I'm I totally on board with now that I'm playing it as I feel it should be played. But also, there's it kind of feels a lot like Shadow of the Colossus. Yes. Uh, right. uh, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, Because we're, there's we're a just... lot of open mm-hmm. space, right? There's a lot of open space with no enemies in it. Mm-hmm. And then you do, obviously, there's a lot more enemies in this than there is in Shadow of the Colossus. But it really does feel like that you don't even need to fight them. You can just ride past them and look at all the weird shit for a bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, you can, you can spend an hour just riding around on your horse looking at weird yeah. shit. And then going, okay. Uh, and then getting a lay of the land and going, right, that's where that is. That enemy looks doable. That doesn't. And then... All of a sudden, you find like a say a cave, and go. Oh no, this is a Dark Souls level. <laughs> like this is like a singular Dark Souls level with shortcuts, mm. with a boss at the end of it, and then you start noticing all the stuff that is introduced to the game that that Souls games didn't have that make the experience better. That are literally there to make an experience better. You beat a boss. There's a bit at the end of it that you touch and you go to the start of that area. Yeah. Like you automatically. So they're just, walk to the right, start so they're of that just area. like dungeons effectively, like little little runs yeah. like yeah. So you can you can run past mm. the enemies to get to the boss once you've opened the uh shortcut. Mm. You get to the boss and you die. <laughs> you run that again, you don't go near any enemies. In old Souls games, you'd beat the boss and have to work your way back. And of course, all the enemies are waiting yeah. for you uh, on the way back. And if you die, you're like, oh, I've lost all the souls. I've got to go back there. Well, it doesn't do that. It's just like, press this. Do you want to go back to the start of the cave? Yes. There you go. Sit down, level up with the souls that you've got or whatever it, what they call them in here, runes or whatever <laughs> they call it in this. And, you know, I, I fucking love it. <laughs> like, I, I can see it mm-hmm. now. The, actually, this is very different in terms of what you're doing moment to moment. The combat is obviously the same. There's a hell of a lot of um, similar aspects to these games. But this just feels different enough to make me go, okay, I'm not feeling that horrifically claustrophobic mm. feeling of beating your head against the wall continuously. Um, there's so much to see in that opening area that, you know, I'm fine. Like, that was the other thought I had. I'm fine with not completing this. Yeah. If I don't finish it, Whatever. I'm okay yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah. As long as I just go around like doing weird shit. I did that thing that you did, uh, that you mentioned last week, James, where I saw a little enemy on its own and I was like, I'll take him down. He's one of the standard guys. I'll just kill that. Killed that. And then a fucking bear dropped on my head. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? But mm. it just made me laugh, you know? Um, and then there's the, the mini bosses. They're hard enough to kill you a few times, but not hard enough to really fucking break your spirit. So I felt the... Did you do the cat one? The cat statue one, James? No, I've not done that one. I did the... the guard, I think it's called the guard dog, but it looks like a cat. Oh, no, I have done that one. That's the one that's down that's, in the cave, right? Yeah. Yes, well, I did that one. Uh, it was in the catacombs, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really liked that fight. I thought it was great. And then I just thought, oh, my God, I'm in. <laughs> I'm actually in. All right. I'm actually Fine. in. I'm um, it. Like I said, I'm not going to go out of the way because I've got too much on anyway. But yeah, um, yeah, one gotcha. Day. What scares me though is that that is a long old game that I'm really enjoying. And when do I go back to Horizon mm. now? That do you know? That is why I'm playing Horizon now first because yeah. I yeah. don't want to play Elden Ring because if I do that, I think it will just ruin Horizon for me. <laughs> that's why I've. That's why I got through Horizon because if I if I don't now, I won't ever. Yeah. So. 
I mean, they're completely I'll still get different. To play on Ring probably. I mean, they're completely different they're games, but totally it's, different. Yeah, but it's still. I, do you know what I mean? It's a similar like, sort of open world vibe. You know, I couldn't have too big open world games on my yeah, exactly. plate. Yeah. Yeah. Too much. You've got you've got a feel for Horizon though. In the first one, come out alongside Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and this one come out alongside Elden Ring. It's mm. like Jesus oh, Christ, how unlucky yeah, can yeah. you be? And this has sold more, right? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Well, it's multi-platform, Which is isn't it? It's madness. Been, that's, it's huge, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is multi-platform. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, it's nuts. Absolutely Yeah, nuts, I really want to play but... more Elder. Well, I haven't, basically haven't played it since I got out of the dungeon because I've had other games I want to play in and also complete. So did that with Horizon, did that with a game we're going to talk about shortly. And now we've got GT7, but now I might finally be in a place to actually start Elden Ring properly. I feel like I missed out so much of all the discourse on Twitter of people sharing their armor sets and sharing where they've been in the world. But see, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm desperate. Yeah. Right see, I, I want to I don't play think, today. I'm quite happy to be out of the matters. fucking discourse, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Doing my fucking Because also, the other thing which is quite nice can be, like, about that is, which is what I found with Dark Souls 2, is that when you go back to something like later, I mean, okay, this was a lot later, people like know how things are. You can get tips from yep. people and stuff like that. It's it's really helpful that's sort like, of, when you play that way. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. Like, I, I forget that, like, you know, grand scheme of things, I, you know, was relatively one of the, you know, the earlier dark souls players but i only finished it once a lot of help was available <laughs> from the internet um yeah. and it's you know still fucking hard so i don't feel like i've cheated myself out of anything um so yeah i have a feeling i'll be do you think the game would be improved by by being a little bit more like less obtuse about things i mean i, I don't want to comment on elden ring obviously because i've not played it i think the the discussion around like the tutorial stuff which i'm not going to get into because I'm sick of hearing about it even from people I agree with. <laughs> like, I do think it's really interesting. I think there's a lot there to to dig through, but it's also I just the sheer volume of it. I'm just like, everyone, just fucking shut up about the whole. But isn't it good? This is good. We want games that don't hold our hand as much. This yeah, is but it's the tutorial. Yeah, but I saw, a, I saw a hole in the ground. I'm like, the game wants me to go down it. I don't want to go down but it. But this, this is it. No, 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 no. That, that is not what it does. does. That's not what yeah. it does. The oh, game does not want you to go down it. There's a guy over looking at a hole. I'm like, well, clearly this is where the game wants me to go. No, no, no. absolute no. <laughs> not having Bollocks. that. Well, th- th- and this is there's a massive glowing tree next to some stairways leading to a yeah, door. You, you go towards the light. That's what you always do in games. <laughs> like that's what happens. You don't go. Oh, yeah, like, oh just, I'm that go down felt that very hole. Dark Souls. So I was like, I'm gonna go. Down no, but this the is hole. what makes me laugh. Is that like you look on Twitter and there's people going like, oh, well, I thought it was obvious because I've played enough of these games to know that I'll be rewarded for exploration or for doing, you know, like for being brave. But then there's equally people going, I've played enough of these games to know that I will be punished for being naive and brave and for doing something obviously going stupid like jumping hole. down a hole. So it's like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought I was going to get absolutely destroyed. Yeah. I thought, okay, well, I don't want to do it. I think the game's telling me to do this, even though I'll probably regret it in five minutes. <laughs> How but... do you think the game is telling you to do that? Because I just, uh, there was a door or there's a man of looking a hole and I was like... I don't want to do this, but you didn't watch. You didn't watch a video telling you to go down that hole. You you had no, no idea. I'd already done that before the discourse happened. I think. I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> wait, feel wait, like wait, that wait, at wait. all to me. I, I did. I went down a hole, and that that, that was basically what I've done. I haven't. And I've gone out the front door, and that's it. But I Look, saw a hole. I didn't want to go down it, but I was like, I'm sure it's probably that's the reason. That's where to go. So I did it, and yeah, it's only when I heard people say, "How did you miss it?" Look, Matt, first like, Matt, oh, did is, I miss something? Matt is an elite Dark Souls <laughs> player. He knows what he's doing. I don't think it's that. A lot well, of people went down the hole. To be fair, he's more elite than I am. He's, he's finished that and Sekiro, sure. right? Mm-hmm. And Bloodborne. So yeah, he's I, I just saw a hole. It's not about being elite. Is it? I just went up. Anyway. Well, it sounds like, it sounds like being it elite. It sounds like a bit, being a little hmm. bit elite. <laughs> just went down the hole. Just went down the hole. <laughs> I saw this morning, which I just thought was a bit odd. Like you know, like because like the Times and all that, they have like their game section and everything, and they got like the review for this, mm. and it's it says, "Elden Ring review: Dice with Death in George R R Martin's Fantasy <laughs> Game." And I just thought that's like, is it really? Like, is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, the, the um, uh, I mean, I, I put it this way, mm-hmm. Sean Bryant. There's like normal wildlife in right. the world, right? And I walked up to a goat mm. and I was thinking, is the goat going to attack me or is it going to mm. run away? Let's see. Let's give this a test. Walked up to the goat. The goat curled up into a ball and rolled Oh, yeah, off. yeah. No, I've seen those. And I just went, <laughs> I need to see as much of this game as humanly possible. And I have seen some much weirder shit Fair than enough. that. 
much weirder shit. Fair enough. The pot. Have you seen the pot stuck in the ground yet, James? You must have. No, right? I've not seen that, no. What's really? That? Where's that? That calls out to you. No, I've not seen that. <laughs> oh, God, that is bizarre. Have you seen that? You've not been on your horse on one of those wind things? No. <laughs> it's so bizarre. There's like gusts of wind that go up and you put the horse on it and it just flies up into the <laughs> air like like hundreds and hundreds of metres and you're like, what the fuck is going on here? It's, yeah, it's utterly bizarre and uh, I think that I am going to freely say, look, I'm going to take my time mm-hmm. with it and not expect to mm-hmm. finish it and I think I'll get way more out of it. But Sean, all the concerns you've had about Souls games, I think this might do enough to sort of put that to one yeah. side and say, actually, this is different enough uh-huh. to give it a really good go. Right. Um, I will say this, though. Don't start with the 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 first character type that you oh, get right. given, because that's what I did. Yeah, Rubbish. <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> What's so bad about it? Change what is it? What is... Did you start again? No, that's, that's, why, that's why I'm thinking I'm going to start again after I've finished Horizon, because... It's just yeah. a fat roll um, shield oh, right. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like Dark Souls one, um, and the, the like that cat boss. I was like, I'm struggling against this, but if I then I just removed all my clothes and I beat it first time, <laughs> it. Mm-hmm. and I was like, it feels like these bosses want me to be quick, and uh, yeah, that that first that first fucking class was awful. <laughs> Did not work for me. I mean, um, I, 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 I went as a confessor, I think it's called. Um, but all, all, all they are is just starting, and obviously you can spec and spec however you want. So I was hoping it wouldn't, I wouldn't be too. Gonna say, in. yeah, usually yeah, doesn't matter sure, too sure much, it does it? But yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't matter in the the previous yeah. games, did it? So, um, yeah, I'm surprised by this. I really no, like it. Cool. Um, I hope they patch the fucking frame rate. Is it bad? Because the frame rate's pretty yeah, terrible. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, it's like unplayable, pretty much. It's yeah, it's not, it's not unplayable, <laughs> but it's just shit. It's Dark Souls One. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like you, you ever played Dark Souls One? The frame rate was yeah. shit in it. I don't think it's quite that bad, mm. but there are moments where it's like this is really chugging, just like you know, and it's Dark Souls be. One was made with still a you know a relatively low budget for what it was. Whereas that, whereas now it's a bit more like, come on, you've got the money now from Soft, like let's. <laughs> And I know it's not just a case of yeah. spend money and optimize it, but you know what I mean. Feels like things like that yeah, could have been sure. ironed out, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's been another new game out this week. I'm interested to hear about Far Changing Tides. Yeah, Sean, can you go into the history that we have with this game before you talk about it? <laughs> so the first game I played, uh, yeah, that was Far Lone Sales, and was I on paternity leave when I played it? I think I was. Uh, possibly Maybe. and then long story short i nominated it for game of the year without having mentioned it on the show previously um fair dues the other three lads all went away and played it and agreed it was fucking brilliant and it was a nice little moment in the show um so yeah the new one is out um and i mean if if you didn't play the first one it was um you know it was about basically traversing this sort of post-apocalyptic landscape but in this sort of huge like wheeled vehicle but it was like a 2d you know it's like a sort of 2d 3d or two sorry 2.5d even uh environment in that it's sort of rendered in 3d but you're sort of moving around on a 2d plane sort of running jumping around and you're sort of you're running this vehicle that was clearly intended for like many people to operate but it's just down to you like you're completely on your own um so, you know, there's like you're having to sort of put fuel in the engine and then sort of, you know, stoke it, keep the fire going whilst also, ma- you know, managing the temperature of it. Um, You, you know, later, like a, a bit further in, you, you get upgrades for it. So there's like, you know, a set of sails for it so you can rely on, rely on the wind a bit. There'd be things that would damage it and you'd have to run around repairing stuff and, and you know, and so on. And then, you know, you would go across the landscape and then you would reach an obstacle so there's like there's a building in the way or a gate or something and then you've got to hop out and then there'd be you know puzzles where you're pulling levers manipulating things trying to clear the way so the vehicle can carry on um and yeah like i'm pretty safe to say we all loved the first one um this is very much the same deal but this time you're in a boat um and it's so obviously it's it's slightly different in that so you start with a sail you then you know you get an engine later on um it does other things that i do not want to spoil 
um but are very cool indeed like really just brilliant moments um i mean it's it's kind of <laughs> the most negative thing i want to say about it is that it's not that much different from the first game if you played the first one and you didn't like it this is going to do nothing to to pull you back in um but it does you know if you did like the first one it absolutely repeats the the magic of that i would say uh, i mean it looks absolutely gorgeous that the soundtrack is it's the same guy who did the last game um so that's still that's still beautiful it's the, the really nice like reactive stuff so like there'll be you know there'll be sections where the music's playing like as you're traveling but then like you know if you've sort of properly managed everything that's going on in the in the the ship to get it to you know like top speed then suddenly like the the soundtrack starts swelling and like you know some more instruments come in and stuff it's really beautifully done um and there's i mean i d- i didn't get any sense of like it was clear in the first game that there was like a bit of a story right and it was it was implied like there was a reason that you yeah, it was all environmental, yeah, wasn't and it, it was sort of shove it in your and face, it sort but... of suggested like, look, here's why you have access to this vehicle, even though you appear to be like a child. Like, there's a reason you've got yeah. it. There's a reason you know how to use it. Um, I didn't get that from this, but then I mean, I was playing it a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, um, yeah. I thought, I it, was, I thought there was, was the sort of thing that doubled down. On. There was like, there was again environmental kind of storytelling, but it wasn't. It was nowhere near the kind of focus no. or. In front of you, as as the first one was, where it's very clear you on there was a narrative. You're like, okay, I'm doing yeah. this. This is what's happening. That's yeah. a shame. You were basically traveling. You were traveling in this, as you were the previous mm. one, and there was things in the background, but never. Yeah, there wasn't really. Anything it was yeah, like that, it's super really. vague, isn't it? The the stuff that it does show you. Yeah. There's like murals and stuff, but I I I don't know. I, maybe someone's done a clever analysis of it, and there's more going on there that I'm aware of, but. I didn't. I, I was kind of waiting for the story to start, and it never truly started. Really. It, yeah. Um. However, the ending absolutely oh my blew God. me away. Um. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh really? I, 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 was you expecting that at I, all? I, I, you know, I what? I I thought. Oh, hang on. I think maybe I know where this is going. But even having sort of seen it coming, still like, yeah, fucking brilliant. Because I. I, I didn't twig, I didn't think about it, and when that happened, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I, I, for most, of, I, I really enjoyed this yeah. game, but it, it felt like there's no real kind of emotional mm-hmm. moments, um, or I didn't really have it. There wasn't really a story, mm. nothing like I felt like there was with the first one, mm. where it's a nice story. I knew where I was trying to go, knew what I was trying to do. Uh, you had the environmental stuff as well. This felt like it was basically about the traveling. I'm, I'm making sure that you know your ship worked, but there was no more narrative. Mm. But then when that happened at the end, yeah, I was like, "Oh so man, good. that is that is such a moment." <laughs> it does feel a bit like maybe they they started with that, and then it was like the rest of the game was just kind of like, right, and how how yeah, do we get them there? You know, um, which is maybe why the rest of it feels a, a bit weak in comparison. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, and narrative stuff aside, like the the puzzles and stuff are still like perfectly enjoyable. I found some of them a bit fiddly. I don't know if you were the same, Matt. Um, yeah. In terms of like, um, well, one of them. On, yeah. No, no. One of them, I was like, okay, I know this is probably the way, but I had to look it up, and I was like, oh no, I just didn't press the button yeah, properly or something. There's a few. I was like, I can see this. I'm pressing the button to grab onto this thing. Nothing's happening. Yeah. Why? Just... Yeah, I definitely had some finicky. Yeah, moments. just some of the interactions, just a bit finicky, like the um, but like when you have to like hook cables onto things as well. It was the hooking. Yeah, yeah. some of that was yeah. not not great. I mean, that can be patched, I guess. Um, and it certainly didn't like ruin the experience. It was just little moments of just like, well, hang on, what is this? Is this a solution, or am I like, am I trying to do the yeah. wrong thing? Is this what I'm supposed to get? Yeah. Out? So it's yeah. that irritation of like it turning out that you were trying to do the right thing all along. It just wasn't quite working. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, no, I, overall, I absolutely loved it. Um, I don't, yeah, but, but then it is, as I say, it is kind of just more of the same. And if you loved the first one, you'll love this. If you didn't, probably don't worry about it. I mean, I, yeah. I will say... I think it's more of the same, but less. Yeah. But having said that, if you played in like the first one, you absolutely need to play yeah. this one for, for, for yeah, reasons. capital R reasons. But I think if you played that and thought... It's okay. Probably not enough yeah. to, you know. I was just saying, we will play it. I absolutely, obviously, absolutely recommend we will play it uh, because I think there's some stuff you have yep. to see. But 
Yeah, yeah I'm, totally, I'm totally gonna play it. How long it never, is it? It's only short, isn't it? About four or five, five hours, hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a weird but yeah, bit was... where it sort of seems like it's going to end and then doesn't. Yes. Um, I had that a couple of yeah. times. I was like, wow, this is very yeah. short. Um, and then it just kind of carries on and you're like, okay. Which which is a bit weird in terms of pacing because you sort of like you'll, I mean, it, and it's always worth it when you do persevere and you carry on. But there's these little moments of like, oh, I kind of thought it was over. I guess I'll, I'll move on. Which again ties into the, you know, the not really being sure why you're traveling and like, you know, because, because the narrative isn't quite there. Um, so there is that sense of like, Oh, well, I kind of thought like what I've just did seemed really significant. I kind of thought I was just going to stay here, but all right, I guess I'll, I'll move on. Um, so it's, th- there are some stumbling points in it, I would say. Um, but no, I mean, overall loved it. Really, really loved it. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, you're totally right. The music is, yeah, man. the soundtrack's amazing. So good. Uh, and particularly those bits where you suddenly have a, quite a long stretch mm. of mm-hmm. traveling. There were bits where it felt like it's like five or seven minutes where you're just yeah. kind of you're sailing the ship. But, it, but it's cool, isn't um, it? Because it, same as the first game, because it is just sort of inherently enjoyable, just sort of running around and sort of, you know, using different bits of the, the ship to make it just go as efficiently as possible. Like even like with no obstacles, that's still pretty good fun. And when you're just able to, you know, like you'll do a few bits and then just hold the left trigger so that it like zooms out and you get that, you know, you can have a look at the environment more and stuff. It's just really enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. yeah I liked how it kind of forced you to keep kind of changing where, how your sails yeah. were working yeah. to kind of get max speed. It wasn't just like yeah, hold down left and that's mm. it. You're done. Like you were. I felt like I was constantly changing where my sails were depending yeah. on the wind to get max yeah, yeah. speed. So and, and yeah, and I know it's great getting the various upgrades and seeing how your machine would change. Um, yeah, yeah. I, did you also? There's like a bunch of collectibles, and I'm sure if I paid more yeah. attention or got more, there would make more sense. But there's like some musical items you can collect. Mm. I was like, do I have to collect all of these? Am I supposed to be setting up I, a scene? Uh, yeah, um, I ended up using them for fuel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. No, I I saved. I mean, like, there's also a plant you can yeah. get. I'm like, okay, if I put this plant here, what mm-hmm. happens there? And I'm sure there are other things around that as well. You can open up the wind. You can open the roof. Yeah. And I'm I, like, hmm. What does that do to the plant? Will I make the plant? Well, I was going to say, I, I yeah. Don't know. I, I didn't cause I, explore much more. Although I feel like this has a few shortcomings compared to the first game. I I never had the urge to replay the first one, whereas I do think I've got another run of this in me, where I can be a bit more thorough. Um, I think it'd be nice as well, like because you know the bits in the first game where it was actually quite stressful, like there's you know bits where you're being like bombarded with fire and stuff, and like um, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Fuck man, like, they felt like there was some real peril. Whereas this is pretty chill in comparison. That there aren't oh, right, any. Okay. I can't think of any bits that like really stressed me out. Um, so I think it'd be quite nice playing it again and just knowing that's the case, like rather than just constantly thinking, yeah, like, yeah, not having it in the yeah, back of your exactly. mind about when's it going to yeah. fuck me over. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, there was there was there was moments in the in the last game where just the whole thing just set on fire for no reason. Like, yeah, stuff would just blow up. Like, or oh, whatever, for fuck's yeah. sake! Um, yeah, okay, yeah, very fucking good. I mean, it's on Game Pass. Obviously, if you're listening to this and you haven't played the first. If it looks like the sort of thing you would like, I would really recommend playing the first one first. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I don't often, don't often say that because mm. often it's like, well, you know, the new one's out. No one yeah. play a new one. But no, I think for this, you'd really get so much more out of the second one if you play yeah. the first. And the first is only, what, like four? Yeah, exactly. They're both hours. only short anyway. So yeah. So if you think, think about playing this, yeah, definitely play yep. the first one. Far alone Time sales. Sorry. Okay. All right, uh, uh, Sean, let's stick with you. What else have you got to uh, talk about? I played the... Oh, actually, no, let's talk about Destiny 2, shall we? Let's let's get let's into go. that. Um, you got a reason to talk about it. It's been a while, hasn't it, since you spoke about it? Uh, well, it has, yeah, to be fair, yeah. Um, and obviously, yeah, but I would have last week, but I wasn't here. Um, it's probably just as well, actually, because I hadn't finished the new campaign at that point. So obviously this is, you know, Destiny 2, The Witch Queen, has come out, which for some reason I keep telling myself is called Wrath of the Witch Queen. It's not. It's just called the Witch Queen. I don't know where I've got <laughs> Wrath yeah, from. You just written yeah, your yeah, own yeah, title. Yeah, and you want to stick to it. Destiny, you know, Bungie, they're not so good at the writing. I'll just embellish it for them, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, sure, I had that issue with Far. Every time I mm. thought about Far, I was like, oh, it's Far Stranded Shores, isn't it? <laughs> like, you know, no, it's I... not. It's every... I was like, go Google it. No, it's changing tides, you absolute idiot. I could never remember the name 
of, of Far, like the sequel to it. Mm. I, I had to, every time I was trying to figure it out, I had to keep googling Far Loan Sales sequel <laughs> to then try and. I don't know. I don't. Know I mean, why. it just it's complete. Far Loan Sales yeah. wasn't a great title either. To be fair, they're, they're, no, they're both a bit clumsy in that regard. But anyway, yeah. So Destiny yeah. Two: The Witch Queen. This is the new big expansion, not to be confused with new seasons. We'll get onto that in a minute. Um. So this is, you know, it's a new campaign. There's a new massive area to go through. There's a new raid. There's new, you know, all, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's really good. It's really fucking good. I finished the campaign now. Um, I haven't really dug into the sort of, you know, post campaign stuff yet, which obviously is where the real meat of it is. Um, however, this is probably the most substantial campaign they've put out for a long time. Because you know, usually the 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 model with like a Destiny expansion is the the story bit takes you like you know an evening or whatever a couple of afternoons and then it's all about the sort of the you know slightly more grindy stuff that comes afterwards like that's where the the real joy of it comes for like you know your more serious players whereas this is a longer story and it's a pretty good story as well like there were there were a couple of reveals in it that were genuinely quite shocking and interesting um which you know I've I've sort of quite casually followed the story of destiny 2 um like the season stuff was really interesting in the way it was you know this sort of ongoing sort of week by week um you know stories unfolding whereas obviously this is just a campaign that you just play from start to finish um but yeah some genuinely interesting stuff in there it's kind of like so the previous expansion you know beyond light was all like you know, because the Guardians use the power of light and it's all about, oh, the darkness is coming and the darkness is inherently bad. And Beyond Light sort of went like, ah, no, what if the darkness is just a tool and it's just, you know, it just depends on who's using it. Um, which, you know, fine, whatever. Um, but this adds a further wrinkle to that by the baddies have now got the light as well. And it's... <laughs> and it's fucking disturbing because there are these sections where so you know you have a ghost right your little your peter dinklage who floats no, he's not peter dinklage anymore um but he follows you around talks to you and unlocks doors for you he's so isn't no one yeah is it it's no one yeah it's been for a long time hasn't it um well yeah, from, from, yeah, yeah. Well, from, um, so he's yeah he's like the reason you're immortal and stuff right so when you die he sort of hovers in place, sort of holding your soul in one piece while he rebuilds you or whatever. So, you know, that that's in universe, that's the reason you can die and respawn, right? He's the one keeping you alive. Um and yeah, now that the hive, the the you know, the aliens who are all sort of in sort of bit insecty, um they've got ghosts as well now, or some of them have. So you'll you'll have these fights where you know, there'll be a, a light bearing hive soldier or whatever and they're a obviously they're quite tough to defeat because they're using like moves that you've got against you like you know lobbing fire knives everywhere big fucking energy blasts and shit but yeah so when you kill one their ghost appears and is trying to resurrect them and (laughs) the way that you kill the ghost is you grab it and crush it in your fist while it does a little squeal and it's made very clear that these aren't like baddie ghosts as such they're they're ghosts like just the same as yours who just made a decision to like they they chose of their own free will that like oh actually maybe this is the right thing to do maybe i should be serving the hive instead so they're not like obviously evil ones and you're just having to fucking crush them in your hand and it feels weird and horrible and i mean obviously you know there's the first couple you do it's like quite a big sort of story thing then after a while it's sort of becomes pretty standard but it was just a nice thing for them to put in you know it's just quite interesting um and then yeah so yeah did the campaign um really loved it um the only thing that has spoiled my enjoyment of it somewhat is i bought the witch queen expansion 30 quid i was aware that there was a deluxe one but i just kind of thought nah, i'm all right like i don't you know i'm, I'm I'm probably not a hardcore enough Destiny player to worry about getting deluxe stuff at this point. Um, new expansion will do me just fine. Um, what I didn't realise was that at the same so the same day that Witch Queen launched, the first season also launched. Right, so you've got your expansions, which are your big sort of you know once every two years or whatever, 
um, you know, big new releases. And then within that, you then also have the seasons, which are usually every sort of three, four months or whatever. And they're your sort of ongoing narrative things. They're very cool, but I generally sort of pick and choose whether or not I'm going to play any given season, right? I might just... Like if I if a new season's about to start and I know there's other big games coming out, right, like right, I'll save myself a ten out, I'll probably skip this one and then maybe come back later. The first season of this expansion started on the same day. And it is part of the stuff like the stuff that's happening in the season is part of the expansion story. So you're playing through the expansion and then it's like, oh shit, Zavala's had this meeting with someone else and this other stuff's kicking off. Maybe you should go and have a look. Um but the season is not included as part of the expansion not the base one anyway so then you end up in this uneasy territory of like well i've just spent 30 quid to get the new thing and you're already telling me about stuff i don't have right yeah couple how much is that how much season's like a tenner right so it's not like this is the thing none of this is bad value for money right it's all (laughs) yeah yeah it's the way they present it so this coupled with um so the Beyond Light expansion, you know, the previous expansion was on Game Pass, and that is how I played it. It is no longer on Game Pass, and I thought, right, well, big deal. I did the campaign. I'm not, you know, who cares? But <laughs> that expansion unlocks a new subclass for your character, and if you were playing it on Game Pass and you didn't buy it, you cannot use that subclass anymore. What? Yeah. That's so, nuts. so like. Yeah, I couldn't believe yeah, it when so you said like, that. Yeah, so it's like booted the game up, I didn't and I was like, being tied to campaigns. yeah, like booting the game up. I was like, cool, gonna get back into Destiny, right? Want to use the Stasis subclass? Oh, I can't. I don't own it anymore. Oh, the season stuff is kicking off. Don't own it. And then, like a few missions in to the the Witch Queen campaign, it was like, hey, did you want to buy the deluxe edition? It's got all the seasons in it. And I was kind of like, and by this point, I was like, do you know what? This is I, I resent. That that popping up, but I am having a good time. Let's have a look at the deluxe edition. There, as far as I could see, there is no upgrade option. So even though I've spent thirty quid on the base expansion, it's just going yeah seventy quid for the deluxe edition, mate, which includes the expansion I've already bought. So I was just like, I was like, so I've had such that. a good time it with feels, it. It but feels like, like the first like two hours it was just felt like it was peppered with like ah sorry mate you haven't got this ah you don't own that do you want to buy this do you want to buy that do you want to... and that's before you... i mean you know the actual sort of microtransaction stuff is pretty laid back it's you know it's all cosmetic stuff it's pretty you know it's completely optional but this other stuff really annoyed me for a bit <coughs> it feels like they need a subscription service well and i know that's this... a bad thing to say but everyone's fed <coughs> up of it Excuse me. but if the new campaign yeah. comes out and they were saying four pound a month yeah. for Destiny mm. or whatever. Sign up, but when you sign up, you have everything. Once once you don't pay, then you got nothing. But you have everything. Well, for this that £4 this is a month. the thing because that would also get around the issue of you know they keep vaulting stuff. So old content yeah. is basically being removed from the game. They sort of there's a vague sort of oh it'll come back, but who knows how or when. Um, and obviously people are quite rightly upset that stuff they have paid for like i bought you know people saying well i bought this expansion that included these two planets and they're now not in the game anymore which you know i get that those decisions will be supported by you know numbers on a spreadsheet at bungie hq and i've not i've not been personally upset by stuff they've removed um but fundamentally i understand the issue whereas as you say if it was just look it's a rolling subscription that sort of would sidestep the issue of, oh, well, but I paid for this specific bit and I no longer have it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't overwrite historical no, problems. it doesn't. But going forward, it and would I think that clear things up. Maybe there should still be an option where you could just buy the bits you yeah. want. But to have an option, like, I wouldn't mind giving this new campaign mm-hmm. a go. Obviously not now, because there's so much other stuff yeah. that I want to play. But, like, later down the line, giving a campaign mm-hmm. a go and just knowing... Oh, I could pay for one month yeah. and just really just try it all out again. You know, yeah. everything. None of this. Okay, I want to play it just to see if I can get back into it. But yeah. what is it? It's £30, <laughs> then £10. Oh, there's then also... What they, have I got? <laughs> I don't know what I own They also anymore. did like a Bungie 30th anniversary pack as well. That's like another, I don't know, it's like 15 quid or something. And But again, it's like, oh, it includes like this exotic gun and a, like two dungeons. And I'm just like, yeah, but do I need them? 
Like, I don't understand. You know what's you know what's funny about this is like Sony bought Bungie because <laughs> they wanted help with their live <laughs> services stuff, and it's like yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I like I I I think I think it's sort of outgrown that. Yeah. Right, it's big. Destiny's so mm-hmm. big now that it's kind of outgrown this whole buy this and mm. this, and then you're up to date because you're not. And I think it kind of needs a very simple system to say, hey, you know, it, it's as appealing to newcomers mm. as it is the the fans. And, you know, you might say, oh, four pound a month, that's nothing compared to selling a 30 pound expansion. And it's mm. not. But if you get the majority of your hardcore fans on that, then the months where you're releasing fuck all, you're still getting four yeah. pound a month. Yeah, yeah. totally. I mean, and, and yeah, I'm surprised I haven't gone to sub boot like Final that. Fantasy 14, and because mm. in those games you have a monthly sub which you pay yeah, ongoing, yeah. but then there's also you pay for the DLC. Yeah, pay you? for the expansions. Yeah, but then they're not as I was they're not as frequent, movie, really. are they? I think it's like you pay for the big expansions, but there's no like season stuff as far as I'm aware in Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, but I like say, and this yeah. is the thing, like. Okay, so that deluxe edition is seventy quid, and that basically that sets you up with everything you would need for the next year of Destiny Two. And like, if you're going, yeah. if you're happy to put the time in, like, if you know you've got the time to dedicate to Destiny Two, that's fucking brilliant value for money. Like, that's not, you know, it's not, it's not a rip off by by any stretch. Like, you you, pro- you know, you wouldn't necessarily need any other games for the next year. It's just as someone mm. who's trying to take a lighter approach, I feel like I was being harassed into. <laughs> buying stuff yeah, that yeah, i don't really sure. need um and it just felt really weird and god like i i i don't know how new players are taking to it um I, you know that usually like a, i i love to know what the well, this is, is like it like these a, days, you know for a brand new player. yeah like the experience for new players has been quite bad for a while and bungie are, are aware of it and you usually figure it like a, you know a new big expansion is the the way to sort of resolve that um uh, but I mean, there's yeah, with, with all this, like I, you know, I've spoke to like you know actual journalists, games journalists who are like, I've fucking lost track of how any of this works now, and that's not good, is it? That's not a good sign. Um. So yeah, I mean, as I say, if you're listening to this thinking, oh, I was quite, I quite fancy getting stuck back in actually, then yeah, do you know what? Pay seventy quid, you'll have an amazing time. Um. Or, you know, just pay 30 quid for the base expansion. Just prepare to just feel a bit annoyed about being repeatedly told about things you don't have. It's it such is. a shame. But it is, but it is really it is good. For the campaign. Really good. Sure. Sorry, go on. You said the campaign's amazing. And I've mm. heard, I mean, I've, I loved the original Destiny 2 campaign, no mm. doubt. They're way, way, yeah, way man. better now. Um, I thought at the time when Destiny 2 came out, I felt like this is the best Halo yeah. game in years. <laughs> but I've heard this is so beyond that and even better yeah, it's, so. it's really good and the new um, weapon type they've added as well the glaive is fucking brilliant because it's you can stab things with it and you can shoot with it it's just a little multi-tool it's like incredibly useful um, yeah it, I've had a really good time with it just as I say I, oh and I, sh- and I should say full disclosure I did cave and buy this current season um, but I'm I'm retaining the right to sort of not necessarily buy the rest this year so, I don't know. We'll see. And just, I know we've been over mm. so many, but even if you wanted to buy the rest, you couldn't upgrade, could you? You would have to buy it all separately anyway. Yeah, basically, be more yeah. So, existing... I mean, I, yeah. For what I paid for the base expansion, I got a slightly hokey uh, deal via Hot UK Deals. Um, so, that, so even if I did buy all of the, the seasons as we go, I'd still end up, you know, I, I, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be paying over 70 quid, put it that way. Um, but yeah, there is no there's there is no like deluxe upgrade option as far as I could see, which seems like a missed opportunity. No. Fine. Um okay, yeah, I'm super yes, conscious sorry, of time because got... we have been running long. Um we've got we've got two demos to talk about left. Uh mm. let's quickly quickly talk about Kirby. Yeah. But simply because I'm selfish and I want to know what you guys think. Because <laughs> I've avoided not playing this. Uh, the kids have been playing it. Mm-hmm. They seem to absolutely adore it. Um, uh, I have not played it because I know I'm going to be playing the full game. So what's the fucking point? Um, yeah. So yeah, what do you I make mean, of it? I mean, I um, so I've had an amazing time playing it with Isaac. I have to say, if it wasn't for playing it with him, I don't know if I'd go out of my way. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, why is that? 
Uh, it's just it's it's super easy, even on the supposedly harder mode. Um, and like it's fine. I don't know. I just wasn't particularly blown away with it. Really. See, I I played this alone, and then I played it with Asher. Mm. And mm-hmm. I mean, it really to me feels like a 3D version of Kirby Star Allies, like in a big way. Yeah. This is this is nowhere near like the depth for what oh what depth there is of it comes from just collecting stuff in the environment. Like the level, yeah. the levels. Okay, the levels that they they presented in the demo are incredibly linear. Like you're yeah. it's, you're basically just being funneled from one area to another, in yeah. the same way that you are like in the in the 2D version of the game. So this is in no way near like Mario Odyssey level good. Like not by no. a long shot. It's nowhere no, near. And I wouldn't, it's no, yeah, I but it's like nowhere that. near that. Like absolutely mm-hmm. nowhere near it. Um, yeah. But right. it is still really good fun. And I, but it was really good fun when I was playing it with Asher because. So what's yeah. the two player like then? Is it like a Mario Odyssey two player? Or is it like a proper it is a two bit, characters? It's yeah, two it's... characters on the screen. I mean, the the reason it's good is because the pace of the game in general is much slower than like say something like Mario Odyssey or whatever. So yeah. you know, there's not that whole thing of like oh he's just run off in one direction and then you know the other person's just <laughs> completely gone out of it. You know, it's it works very well with that. The only thing that Asher was disappointed about with it. Was that when we were playing? You can't both play as Kirby at the same time. Yeah, like one of you right. is another character, and so he was playing as Kirby, Brian. and then I was just playing as this other, just random character. But the random character is not great because it doesn't have any abilities and it can't do any yeah. good oh, stuff. Really? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you can't even like suck people no, up. No, can't do that. All it had was just like a spear for like attacking stuff. So I mean, mm-hmm. that's rubbish. Maybe there'll be a, a bit more of a choice um, when it comes to like the main game. Maybe that'll happen. But see, I've been playing. I've been playing a bit of uh, Luigi's Mansion recently recently right oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, free for on the switch and uh, you can't underestimate enough how good the fucking uh co-op was in that mm. because if you're guiji that's the the one that you give to the kid basically mm-hmm. because it has all the same stuff it's exactly the same move set but you can't die you all right you die quicker or whatever you you know disappear quicker but you can't actually die whereas luigi can I, it just seems so perfect that I wish that they'd learnt from that. If well, you know this what is I mean. yeah, like, and this is the the reason I feel like Kirby sort of I'm gonna say it doesn't work, but it's yeah, the fact that it's very clear that like, so if this is a parent and child scenario, parent is supposed to be Kirby because they've got a lot more to do and a lot more stuff to figure yeah. out. But the kid obviously wants to be Kirby because it's yeah, way yeah, more interesting. It like, not, yeah, so it's yeah, the, like you say. So with Guigi, like it, Guigi's cool because it's like zero pressure, but the same move set and the same abilities. Whereas this is very much like, oh no, if you play a two, you you can kind you can hit stuff, and that's kind of it. And it's, it weird, feels it? yeah. So uh, it was I'll shocked. Be, I thought this was going to be a slam dunk. I haven't played the previous Kirby games. I thought this would mm, be. A, I think it's just it, it's just a case of dialing back expectations as to what this is going to be because this yeah. is really Man. like i mean when i when i saw the like the videos for it it looked significantly more sort of open than the demo that has come out but that may mm. just be right. because it's a demo and it may just be yes. that they just want to just you know funnel us yeah. down like a, a corridor yeah we know nintendo games are really easy for a long period of time and then the difficulty stuff happens i mean fucking hell odyssey yeah. was a piece of piss to get through wasn't it <clears throat> yeah. yeah true yeah, but then I'm still yeah. I'm still thinking this is going to be a lot less impressive than I thought it was probably going to be. Yeah, but that's a shame. Yeah, oh man. But maybe yeah, guys, I thought you know we'll yeah. see. Okay, well that's out soon, right? That's 25th the twenty fifth of March. 20, yeah, 25th, 25th yeah, of March. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. What's this uh, other one, Sean? Card Shark. I'll be quick. Um, because I, I mean I've only played a very short demo of this anyway. This was part of the Steam Next Fest, which shamefully I mean I downloaded a shitload of demos and barely dug into any of them. But this is this has been I'm pretty sure this has been on Nintendo Directs before. So this is the Devolver one, um, which is about cheating at cards. Um, and oh, what, yeah. what what I found really interesting about the demo is that so I thought from the the trailers and stuff that it was a, a game where you basically play card games but there are ways to cheat right but that's yeah. not what it is it is 100 like the like the cheats are the game like you don't play any normal card games like that's it sort of accepts that's not the interesting bit of it and kind of just ditches that relegates that to you know just cutscenes and stuff um and it's it's all about the fucking the grift right so 
it's like it's like a like a renaissance setting uh beautiful art style by the way like really you know gorgeous animation and stuff and it like it starts out you're a waiter right in this cafe and this guy sort of is sort of drinking by himself and he's like oh mate come here like do you want to make some money um and he's like right i'm gonna be back here tonight i'm gonna be playing cards and what i want you to do is as you're pouring the other guy his drink i need you to peer over his shoulder to see what cards he's got fit like look at you know whatever he has you know whichever like the most common suit is in his hand and then you're going to come over and wipe the table and the pattern that you wipe the table in that denotes like the the suit right so like if it's hearts you do a clockwise circle if it's diamonds you do up and down or whatever but also like <laughs> and it, so it's all stuff like this but it's all about like these little interactions that you can kind of fuck up right so there's there's like a a bit of like sleight of hand involved in that so as you're pouring the drink the more you pour the drink the better of you you get over the guy's shoulder but if you pour it too much it fucking spills everywhere and he gets suspicious and <laughs> you know, and it kicks off so that like that's how it starts out <clears throat> and you're like okay this this is sort of fairly simple i can get my head around this and then it launches straight into like so that you know this guy's like he can do card tricks and stuff and he does the you know the sort of fairly standard like right you pick a card don't show me what it is i'll shuffle it back into the deck and then i will show you your card right and it but it teaches you how to do that like not that i could do it in real life but i understand the principles of it and it teaches you all the proper terms like in do you know what in jogging is i didn't um in jogging is where you uh is it where you put it into the middle of the deck, but you... It's like sticking um, out a tiny bit. Yes. Top of the deck. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, right. So, and then it sort of, you know, again, it's sort of the way the interface works is really, really light, but really clever. And then it's like, right, as you're shuffling the deck, it's like, right, you push down on the stick to like, you know, shuffle some more cards in. And then you press right to in jog the next card and then up to cut the deck. Like all these different things that you kind of, you have to remember so it's like right and then that's how you learn how to do that trick and it's like right that's cool that's fine and then it goes to like he's going to be like right so we're going to be playing cards you're going to pose as the dealer or you're going to, you know, you're going to be the dealer and he's like and then i need you to make sure that as you pick up the cards you need to pick them up and then inefficiently shuffle them in the right way so that i get all the best cards <laughs> right so it's like right here's like a table full of cards and every, you know everyone's chucked the cards on the table so they'll be like you know like a little string of three cards there four cards there a couple of cards left you know so then you've got to look and be like right so there's three players my guy is third there's like a string of four cards and the third one is a king so if i grab them from left to right then the king will be third in the deck and then you're looking at like but then there's a fourth card so now for the next lot i'd pick up i need the second card to be a high value right so you're doing all these you know just these little sort of calculations you had picking up all the cards and then and then they're yeah. saying, and then learning how to inefficiently shuffle them so that your mate still comes out on top. So it's just all shit like this, and it's and I mean that's all I've done so far. I think the demo is a bit longer than that, but I'm just I'm absolutely fascinated by it, and I, I can't wait for it to come out. And it seems like there's a half decent story, and as I say, it's beautifully presented. Um, it's coming to Switch as well. I've, I mean, I've played it on PC, but it's it's one of those reassuring PC games where you load it up and it's like, please use a controller. We promise it's better. <laughs> um, which I always find. <laughs> I was, I was like that um so yeah i mean when this comes to switch this is gonna be an absolute no-brainer for me i'm I'm really excited about it cool card shark sounds good have a look it's a shame there's not a demo on the switch yeah yeah it's but we'll see it is weird when there's a demo on the switch like the e-shops just can't kind of like well, this one <laughs> this one's got a fucking demo imagine that and you're like well, shouldn't there be a more of that i don't know it's weird right okay is that it for um what we've been playing Kind of. I mean, I've also played Horizon, but I haven't really got much more to say about it. Um, yeah, it, I'm still enjoying you it. You near the end or what? No, 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 no. I've only played it for about twelve hours. It's um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All the hold are, off are you enjoying it, or are you just getting through it to get through it? I'm enjoying it. Um, it's yeah, yeah. I'll talk about it later because there's, it's yeah. There's I've, I haven't really got much to add from last week, so yeah. I do feel a bit overwhelmed cool. by it though. Um, at the moment. Lots of icons. Yeah, there's, a lot yeah, there's an awful lot of icons on that map. It's uh, yeah. All right, let's get to questions. Do a few questions to get out of here. I can't believe we've been going on for this long. Yeah, sorry. Cool. Um, why am I saying sorry? I think I think yeah, I, I think sorry, I feel everyone. I think I feel personally responsible for not being here last week and therefore having twice. Yeah, as hold many... on, are you are you apologising to us or the listeners? I don't know. Don't I've need no to apologise to just, us. Just to the universe. You've been you know, doing just... your job. 
just offering it up to the <laughs> scud stars above. Just I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not sorry, all right? That. Uh, sorry, everyone. <laughs> I exist. If you want to send us a question, you can go to tcgs.co forward slash dear tcgs. Uh, the Sesh Prince of Bel Air says, Hi, TCGS crew. I'm not sure if it's ever explicitly uh, explicitly in- explained in game, but Elden Ring has a group password option in the multiplayer settings to allow a large community to preferentially be shown each other's summon signs, bloodstains, and messages. Perhaps we could have a TCGS password so that everyone who listens to the podcast can see the embarrassing number of times I've died to the tree sentinel. Will the podcast <laughs> keep up the excellent work? Um, and Matt has kindly noted that we have one already. Um, cool. it's, it's Dark Call. Which is case sensitive. It's capital D, capital C, but it's all one word. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, I didn't so know that. That'd be nice. That seems like a yeah. nice idea. To be fair, to have like a little community of people, so you know you're not going to see too much bullshit. But also, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah. remove the standard ones, but it uh, only okay. highlights the ones from the group more. Uh, okay. So it won't okay. like remove ones you've already seen in the world, but yeah, yeah, our ones you'll see. Cool. As well. Dark, so that's pretty cool. cool. Dark, okay. Cool, all one word. Capital D, capital C. Uh, Martin H says, hello, was there a discussion about doing a Disco Elysium spoiler cast or have you already done it and my searching <laughs> skills are not good enough? Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Keep up the good work. No, we never that was did such it. A show. That was one of the ones that sort of, uh, we will bang up for it, but then we all played the game at various different times. Yeah. And then it's a long yeah. old game as well. It was so co- by it was, the end of it, it was like the enthusiasm went. Yeah, and it was a combination of that and also um, this is no shade whatsoever on Kane and Rince, but like they did like a three hour episode about it and it was still like, there was so much stuff they just didn't have time to cover. And you kind of think, yeah, like if unless you're going to do like a series, I think like the internet has already (laughs) said enough clever things about that game. I don't think, I don't think we'd also, have I've much to add. about 90% of it. There's also know, that. Because um, there's so much. I, in it, yeah. <laughs> I keep meaning to pick it up again on Switch, but um, yeah. I started it. again on, on the Mac. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of I course, yeah, it's the, an actual um, Mac version, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just still like it's still amazing. Oh yeah, the the, the, the voiceover stuff is incredible. They added. <laughs> you know, the music in yeah, that mate. game still haunts me. Yeah, it's, it's so, so good. <laughs> so good. I do. So what, good, one yeah. day, I've definitely got another playthrough in me, but it's finding the, oh, ta- sure. the time and emotional fortitude to. Go <laughs> when we talked about doing spoiler cast, I was really worried because I love the game at the time, but I. Hmm. Yeah, as David said, I couldn't remember a single thing when we started talking about that. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to have to replay the whole game again because I didn't take notes. I just played it and enjoyed it. Mm. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks like there's far better spoiler casts out I there. Remember, than, I remember yeah. the ending feeling like it was rushed. <laughs> the <laughs> ending's really... a weird one because, yeah, through reasons entirely not your fault, you missed out on my favourite bit of the ending. Yeah, probably. Um, I, I, but but then you still had that discussion with the detectives at the end, right? And it just kind of felt like, yeah. here's a summary. And yeah, I was yeah. Like, <laughs> All right, but could that have not been done in a nicer way? Because yeah. I've spent ages on this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh well. Terry Mulholland says, Hey, all the apprentice question last week got me thinking if the TCGS crew were sent to the I'm a Celebrity Jungle, who would hold up the best and worst? Also, who would do Ooh. witch trials out of an eating one, an insect one, a heights one, and a snake's one? After the milk okay. race, I can imagine James quite enjoying the eating one somehow. Uh, I mean, um, I'd do the worst. I know I'd do the worst out of it. Do you reckon? I think I'd be fucking shit. The moment I saw a spider, I'd be out of there. Oh, shit, of course. Yeah, see you later. Yeah. Oh, spiders. but we put spiders on your face. Nope. Nope. Absolutely no, not. Not, not me. I will physically kill you if you try and do that. The funny me. thing about that <laughs> is that uh, <laughs> I think for, I, I, I would... I mean, one, I would want to do challenges because I'll regret it if I didn't do it at a time. Yeah. But if I think back from that, um, I would probably do the challenge, uh, but be shitting myself. But what I would hate, what I always think about that program more is that it's like they're sleeping at night. I'm yeah. like, are the spiders in the bed? I'll just, I mean, I, I can do like a challenge for five minutes where it's like intense and that's what it's all about. But mm. like when you like, okay, go back to the camp and there's like there's things everywhere, that would be the thing that would freak me out the most about the whole experience. The, so the I fucking... could probably get through with the challenges because that's just a whole we should, point. We should, get, to... it, we, should, we should do a bonus show with Ian Lee well, I was where you say... just ask him questions about what it's like. Yeah, because I, um, yeah. Cause I watched a bit when he was on and that challenge where he had to get through, it was like a, oh, how to describe it? It was like a little, like a really sort of confined It was like a maze. water tunnel. Yeah, yeah, tunnel, like a water right? tunnel, but yeah. And there was, yeah. loads of it was underwater and there was like little bits where you could get like a bit of air but it was but 
it in no way took into account the fact that he's quite fucking tall. Yeah, he's like eight foot tall. Yeah. <laughs> so like, it, honestly, like I was having a fucking panic attack watching that yeah. because it was like just watching a man being tortured. It was fucking horrible. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, it was horrific. Yeah. But like, I, I just had a fall, right? Because mm. I'm, I'm going to the heart of gaming in Croydon oh, yeah. with Ian this weekend. Yeah. And um, Harry's coming with us. Mm-hmm. And Harry knows of Ian, like he's seen clips of him and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. And he walks around the house going, Daish, constantly, <laughs> right? And like that. Harry loves that shit. But I, I don't think I've explained to him how tall he is. So I'm quite <laughs> interested to see what he looks like when he sees him. Because, like, for yeah. a kid, that's like quite. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> like, you see a really tall guy, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so that's going to be interesting yeah. in his little face. Yeah. Um, but that would be. Would, would you have you got like a bunch of questions like that? I don't, I mean, I don't know. Don't I didn't watch it, but... enough of it. I don't think. Um, no, I'm talking but... to Matt. I oh, Matt's got like a ton of. I, mean, I haven't, but I'm sure I could rustle up a fair few. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's the bit of night when, like, even putting your feet in your sleeping bag, there be stuff in it. I'm like, fuck that. Yeah, um, yeah heights I can live with. I was going to say, snakes, I, yeah, heights, I can live with. Heights heights would be one, okay. Out of these ones, the one I can't do is the heights one because I don't like heights. Really? But the other okay. stuff is fine. I can do the yeah. other ones. Um, mm. the, the snakes are they all? Are they defanged? They must be right. No, they add fangs. I they to put more, put fangs, more in. fangs in. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Cyber kill snakes. other snakes and then just take the fangs out and yeah, stick yeah, them yeah. in the, yeah. in the ones the that eating they show, one, yeah. The eating one would be good because I would definitely give it a go, but I would be sick within the first 10 seconds, but I'll just have to keep going. <laughs> yeah, I, can't. I haven't yeah, watched my that show much. terrible for stuff but like I, that. I, yeah. I know I'll be like, okay, eat, and, but, you know, I don't know if I've ever been <laughs> sick from instantly and then carried on, but I'll, that's probably what I'll do. I feel sick at the psych of, psych of sushi. So, uh, I, and yeah, so kangaroo I've, testicles, not the one though. To my shame, no. I can't do sushi either. And it's not a taste thing. It's just brain just refusing to let me eat raw meat. I've yep. eaten all yeah. sorts of weird stuff, so I'm not bothered. It's fine. <laughs> James loved it. He yeah. fucking loved it. <laughs> He's all over that. Uh, I'll do the height one. <clears throat> I should be all right with that. I think we're all, we're all volunteering for the height one. Oh, I want to do the height one. Okay. Oh, oh no. are we? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not doing that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. James is not doing it. The rest of us James are. Doing the rest of us are all James fighting James best overall. Yeah. James, James would, yeah, smash it. Yeah. That would like, be the most, you know, he'd really go for it. There's no doubt but about I'd that. But I'd also be probably the most hysterical. But <laughs> just, I'll go for it. just coming back every time. How many stars you got, Matt? None again. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do I'm gonna do this, everyone. And like, you hear screaming within five seconds and vomiting. <laughs> Even if it's not an eating one, I'm like, meh. <laughs> That's, no, I st- still want to go on Big Brother at some point. <laughs> That's Just going to bring the show back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to. That do was that. always Just, a dream. Yeah, I'm a Big Brother. Right. right okay. One uh, more. Yeah. Let's do one more. Yeah. Uh, Sean Lebode says, "Hey guys, hope you're all safe and well. Loving the content so far. No feedback from me." However, as a buddy, oh, cheers, yeah, as a buddy, not even positive feedback. No, just, just absolute, <laughs> yeah, neutral. I have nothing to say Shocking. about your previous yeah. content. Yeah, <laughs> no praise, no negativity. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Shocking behaviour. Uh, as a budding game developer, I love to hear about what it, uh, what it is about games and/or genres that people don't get along with, so that things can be improved upon or at least entertained. My question for you all is: if you could add one thing, however unrealistic it could be, to a genre of game you currently don't enjoy, what would it be? Without removing any fundamental parts, for me, I'm happy that the fail states in sneak 'em ups aren't so much a thing anymore. Games like Uncharted 4 or MGS5, where you can still complete areas after being seen, are some examples. And no, you can't just remove all the cards from card-based games, oh, James. Damn it! That's what I was going to say. You can't remove things; you've got to add things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, Oh, I don't know what I'm try, What don't what don't I enjoy? Because I, usually I would go I would go to like FIFA or whatever. But I have unfortunately it's a matter of public record that I have enjoyed very FIFA, much enjoyed so, FIFA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, love it. It's Danny Williams. It's, it fucking is. <laughs> oh, I'd love another season of that. <laughs> yeah, so would I. I sold my PS4, mate. I'll have to buy. Oh, no. I'll have to buy it again on Xbox. Um. Oh, it'll be on. It'll be on oh, PC. Well, won't you back at least a pound. <laughs> <laughs> we'll it's on Game Ultimate, Pass, yeah. isn't it? Oh, of course, yeah. Um, Beyond, yeah, yeah. yeah um, might be on how far back does that be, yeah. go, though? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'd need eight, what was the 18. Second season? 18, I'd need, I think. And would it carry your save over? Oh, <laughs> my decisions. <laughs> no, it's fucking hell. PlayStation. <laughs> um, what, what would I add to a genre that I don't like? I mean, what genres don't I like? A fucking decent combat system to Yakuza. 
Woof. Fucking hell. It's decent show. It's got it. It's got it. Nailed got it. Oh, he's to James. James didn't bite for that one. James did that. James bad. is just like biting his own fist. Because <laughs> um, I can't think of many genres I hate because I either haven't played them, so I can't really comment. What ones just... haven't you played? Um, <laughs> Sega games. Sure I've played a oh, Sega. I've played. See, I've played at least played one Sega game. The trouble is, when I think of games that I don't like, it's like if you've. I can't think of any way to make them better because I just fundamentally don't like them. Just don't <laughs> care. Like, don't, All right. You know, it's just no, no, it's, no, yeah. that not. It's a frothy little question. Know, mate. Don't, <laughs> it's just. Oh, no, 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 like James, that. James, name a name one you don't like. Then let's try and fix it right now. Well, like any kind of like I don't know, like okay, uh, match three puzzle games. Don't care for them. What? Right. How do you not care for them? They're amazing. I just don't really care for them. As this is the right, right attitude. What, what isn't would, it? Well, okay, so what if they what had uh, like a really heavy heavy narrative about organized James. organized crime? Yeah, <laughs> James. What if if they if right. they were all Tetris, I'd be happy with that because I like Tetris. That's you great. can't just make what them if, another game. Yeah, but that's not a match. <laughs> that's not a match. Tetris <laughs> yeah. match free. James, James, I got, I got it, I got it. James, what if the match free game was like? Do you remember when in like the uh in the nineties where you bought some peanuts in a pub? And it was on a cardboard thing <laughs> where the more packets of peanuts <laughs> that got bought, the more of the newbie they <laughs> saw. <laughs> What if match free games I mean, like that? You'd like. That I mean, that definitely been, exists, right? I think it's right? been done. Yeah, it's yeah, been done. Yeah. Certainly, <laughs> almost it's definitely. Gone the I mean, you just got <laughs> the main games on the. Uh, there's on the there's fucking... some bad stuff on the eShop now. There's isn't There's some there? very bad stuff on the. It's eShop, almost as bad as it's Steam. Sad. It's horrendous. Yeah. Nintendo just don't give a fuck anymore. They don't. They, really <laughs> they used to regulate <laughs> yeah. this stuff, and now it's like, yeah, fucking whatever. They yeah, took fuck, they took that game off about having a sly wank in the back of a car but that's yeah, it that's think. as far that's as i'll get yeah well there's took a demo off. on this one all right <laughs> jesus <laughs> okay right that's probably it right yeah we're done quite tired Matt. yeah socials yes so yeah tcgs contacts are still on sale hopefully by the time you uh, listen to us there may not be very few uh remaining so go to tcgs.co slash tcgs con if you want to go be quick because we haven't got many left. Um, streaming uh, on Wednesday this week. Sean is doing yeah. his Nuzlocke stream. So normally Thursdays, it's bringing it a day early this week. So Wednesday night at twitch.tv slash TCGS code from 9 p.m. It's Nuzlocke stock and two slow king Barbara Ackles. Uh, how come we're doing it early this week, Sean? Because it's Sea of Thieves again. Sorry. Sea of Thieves on <laughs> Thursday. So that's Wednesday night. So not usual Thursday, it's Wednesday. Yeah. And then Friday... Uh, th- this changes every five minutes. So, James, where are we with your <laughs> current position on your Friday night stream? I'm doing House of Ashes. Uh, okay. I've, I've, I've bought it now, so it's happening. It's, it's happening. <laughs> okay. Friday night from nine. James is very excited to play House of Ashes. <laughs> yeah, sounds so thrilled about that for a fucking plug. <laughs> 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 Those are both on Twitch on TV slash TCGS Co. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you're Twitch Prime. Now, I'm if you have Amazon Prime, you're Twitch Prime Gaming. And with that, you get one free sub every single month. Please go up to our channel. We really appreciate when you do. Link your accounts, link your Amazon account with your Twitch account. And we get, uh, if you go over to our channel and give us your free sure. sub, we get a bit of a kickback. So thank you ever so much for those who already do it. Again, it doesn't renew, it doesn't notify you if it's a, a lapse. But please go up to our channel and, uh, and do it. <laughs> Rocking guitar music. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just cold plates. It's cold plates, yeah. And the early singles. It's just it. adding some bed music to you. Yeah, so okay, cool. Uh, Dark <laughs> comes out on Friday morning. We're up to a fair episode 34. Naito. James battles with two of the giants and gets to Naito. And um, you order the rest of the stuff as well. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you could stop now, James. Okay, no, I thought you've <laughs> definitely woken up your family. <laughs> Yeah, you, 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 you've marked me off here, James, so well done, you can stop now. <laughs> hey, come and watch James play live. Fucking bolt it now, haven't I? I fucking might as well play the fucking thing. I fucking bolt it. Haven't I now? <laughs> Thanks for living it, everyone. We will, uh, we will catch you next week for more video game chit-chat. We love you all. Goodbye. Cheers. Bye. Night.
Oh. Oh. Oh.